what's up, brothers? What's up, dudes and dudes? It's, it's the Hulkster coming up. Oh, sorry. I was just, I'm on the wrong stream. I think I was on Mad Max's stream and we, we were just doing that just a minute ago. Hey, guys, welcome to the Point Extra Lounge. I think I. Dude. All right. Looks like I'm back. We we will have to wait and see here. Um, I hope that you all are doing well. Welcome once again to the Point Extra Lounge. My name is Enosh, aka Enosh Vet, and uh, it is always good to be with you guys in the lounge. We're going to have some guests show up. We're, we may do this one a little bit different. We may bounce around. We may have a couple of guests on at a time and, uh, and talk about some stuff uh, tonight. <clears throat> Excuse me. But hey, tomorrow, is is justice con and uh we're we're pretty excited about that and all the stuff we're going to find out from there but hey if this is your first time to the lounge make sure that you like and you subscribe and you hit that notifications bell so that you know when we put out new videos because we're doing that all the time guys and uh we we just uh we have a lot of fun here on the channel and so we'd like to have you guys along for the ride come on have some fun uh so if you're in the comment section you should already have the uh the link there you can uh, go ahead and uh, come on in and we can talk, we can chat, we can talk about whatever you want to talk about and uh, and have some fun in the process. Also, there is the uh, the chat room. Chat room is always great. You guys always do a great, uh, great uh, job there in the chat room. And uh, oh, you know, what? I, I want to say a special welcome to uh michael s welcome michael s i'm glad that you are here i'm glad that you liked and subbed i am happy happy to have you here for sure and so uh i'm gonna bring on i know there's i know there's gonna be people who wanna who wanna just like talk about stuff and and that's fine but i'm gonna bring a couple of guys in here at a time well, first of all i'm gonna bring in my good buddy max yeah we need to get the star wars show once the dc news starts slowing down exactly we, yeah, we got it we gotta get that uh that we gotta uh, figure it out Exactly. And uh, we'll, we'll bring in Brian here. Ooh, look, look at here. Look who we got. This is the American dream, Dusty Rhodes. Oh, yeah, brother. <laughs> hey, dude. <laughs> That's right. We're going to be talking about the hard times tonight. Oh, some hard times, dude. You know what? I had a hard time once I ate a spicy burrito, and it didn't quite come out the way that I thought it was going to come out, dude. But you know what? I got over it, dude, because I ate my, my Hulkamaniac vitamins, and I said my prayers, and I trained, and, well, uh, yeah, I cleared out pretty good, uh, let me just say. So, <laughs> Hell yeah, man! <laughs> so, so guys, uh, so Max, we never, we never really got into this. Oh yeah, we never really got into this That's about true. like what happened over uh, on the stream that you did last night, dude. Well, they don't. I'm too accurate with my rea my reactions to their hot takes that they want to stop them every time. That's really what it is. I don't make yeah. them look good, and I use their words against them. I'm not. I know that's what's going on, and. Uh, people like their followers come in like, are you going to respond to this? Uh, or they, they call me, you know, the other word for a, a kitten to call oh. me, to, you know, to say I'm afraid. I'm like, I'm never afraid to talk to these dudes. Never, right, man. Never. Why, do, why, why do they think, why do they think that, that we're, that we're like scared of them or like we're no, in awe, I mean, awe of them? No, they're not, like they're nothing to me. I don't care. I don't care where Signor came from. Uh, I really don't. I mean, oh. good, okay, you made good videos in the past. So have I. Yeah. Uh, like, I don't understand, I, I don't understand this idea. All this like, trailers was a great idea. I mean, but other people put that together. Too. I don't know if it was solely his idea. Uh, and I'm not discrediting his past either. But mm -hmm. I, I'm not, I, I said, I'm, I always said, I don't kiss ass. I kick ass. There you go, man. You got to kick. Your brother, let me tell you something, dude. Not, you got to kick that butt. You got to kick that tail if you're going to survive in the ring. Mm -hmm. Right, and I, I, of, I uh, um, well, okay. Sorry, I'll let you. I'll let you go. And and if I if I want to collab, I ask nicely. If I really respect the person, uh, if I think you're full of BS, I don't come at you hard until you want to to talk to me. That's honestly my game plan. It's worked so far. Some people have you know they've gone toe to toe with the madman. They think they won, and then they don't want to talk to me again. Does that mean that they won? If they don't want to talk to me again, I don't know. They just uh, we, get frustrated. They get yeah. frustrated because none of none of these people, not not Andy, not Jody, not any of them so far that that I've seen, like deal in act in actual facts. So if you actually start talking in in realities, mm -hmm. they start backing up. You notice it because uh, every stream that like 
Andy does, for example, he looks like a Muppet. He's just like, ah, stuff is going on. Has stuff is happening. These people are saying this. I don't understand why all this stuff is happening. And Jody's just, you know, over there just saying every either racial or homophobic thing that he can say, you know, and well, that's, that's I, I, stick. I have some people that said he said yay instead of the other thing, but I don't Bull know. Crap. It really sounded like it's me. Well, that so was a hard G, G brother. They were yeah. getting mad at us for for not understanding their quote unquote inside jokes. It's like what the, f I mean how how do you come across how do you get off by saying that? It's just like no, I mean pe people that use uh, that word, and I'm not saying it here because I actually got my stream demonetized just because I said it, and I was giving, I was defending. They're bad yeah. Muppets. They're bad Muppets, Snow Dub. Not they're not good Muppets. They're they're like they're like uh, the they're not Muppets. Well, using it as they're a derogatory. I mean, you can know uh, you could you could joke at <laughs> oh, like no. any, anyone. Oh no! Oh no! I'm going. I'm going to be. I'm going to be outed now and, and canceled because I I I, 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 I I'm a Muppet folk. I am not. I have I have many friends who are Muppets. I I love Muppets in in every way. I mean, I don't love Muppets, but you know, I'm I, now I'm just backtracking and I don't know what to say anymore. Um. <laughs> Just say you're down with the cotton connection. We're good. I'm down with the cotton connect with the rainbow connection with the cotton connection. Oh boy, that's a different one. I was, <laughs> I, was, I once did a music video with Kermit. If it helps. Oh, okay, that does help. There you go. Thought, so. All right. Yeah. Um. They. I, I'm on track. They. They act like they're. They. They want to talk to me for a reason. My. Uh. Your. Your. Your channel's getting views too when you're doing these type of uh, reactions. Nor people need to do it. But there's a reason. Yeah, they can't just ignore it. They can't just ignore it, and then he's always like squash the beef. I said I'm not going to stop. He and then he he tries to like uh, wear me out with my point of view. Like, are are you really thinking that way? I'm like, oh, I get I get like tired of saying the same thing. They wear you down. They're you know BSers are used to doing BS constantly, and they wear you down. Yeah, and I was like towards the end of the stream, I was like, all right, we're okay, whatever. And I I just like I don't care anymore. I don't care yeah. anymore. Well, they uh, they gang up on people. I mean, look look what they did. No, to, no, last uh, night wasn't. A, he was being nice, but it was like lame. Like I don't. I mean, talking, listening to Taylor Swift. Okay, uh, if you want to take me, he, he's kind of like it was kind of like the the tone of the video was like brushing me off, like I ain't nothing, you know. Uh, oh, this is an interview. Oh wait, let's listen to track four. I'm like, okay, I see what you're doing. I I knew what was happening. I just I don't want to. I don't want them to say I'm afraid to talk to them. And, and yeah, he has to say, you, you're going to talk about me. I should be able to respond. Go right ahead. I prefer him to make a video. If I'm so wrong with my take, make a video about me. Yeah. Uh, well, no one, not, no, not many people make videos about me. For those of you who don't know, uh, Mad Max last night, he was on, uh, uh, what was his Twitch channel? Andy, was, Andy, Andy Signore. I talked to him once a week now. Uh, is this progress? <laughs> is this, is this better? I don't know. Well, at least I used, he acknowledged you I used to be blocked. Now he, we talk once a week. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least he acknowledged you, Max. He he actually uh, messaged me via Twitter this week, and uh, we had an exchange because he got mad because of the video that I took down off of your uh, mm -hmm. that I ripped off of your video and and posted the video. And so he he messaged me and he's like, "Oh, what's with the hate, brother? I thought we were good." And he's like, "He's like, I, you know, like why are you pump, you know, punching I mean, me?" And I was like, "Dude, I'm like, I was like, did you watch thing. it? I was like, did you watch it? All I did was literally take down." I took off what our conversation was because my subscribers don't necessarily weren't ne all necessarily over at Max's. Although you guys should go sub to subscribe to Max and Brian and and Sci-Fi Dragon. Uh, but but you know the thing is is that like all my subscribers are not over there and they know that I've had a problem with Andy. And so I said I just took down the video that I talked that you and I talked and I put it up on mine. It's, you know? it's this YouTuber mentality because we speak now we're cool. You never talk about me again. I'm like uh, no. I said, yeah. as soon as I got in there, he's like, does this mean we squash? Can we finally squash this beef? I'm like, uh, I don't really have a beef with you personally. Yeah. I have, I critique your hot takes. I think they're bad. And this crazy circus you create a lot. And I, I did say, I think Jody gets you in the most trouble. He's like, oh, and just like we just watched on my channel, we did a reaction of the pool boy from geeks plus lamers. <laughs> uh, he won't actually pull the trigger of calling out dumb cock. Uh, and this is the same thing with Jody. Uh, listen, I was absolutely right and have nothing to apologize about calling those two out. Nothing. No, 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 nothing. No. Um, and I'm, I, and they say, oh, I'm the toxic person. They show my videos. Yeah, I do. I do way more reaction videos to idiots on the internet than you do. You know, I have to say, and I, I admit it freely and it's fun and more people need to do it, not less. Uh, you have to push back against the 
the bull BS or it spreads. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Absolutely. People, people, unfortunately, as many years as I've been on in, on YouTube and social media, I would like to say that people, that the viewers are not influenced. I think you're, you have a smart viewers here, intelligent. And yeah. I, on my channel, we have, we have good conversations. We have people engaging and not just saying, oh yeah, like I say, it's a rock star that just says F you and does the, yep. does the buzzwords and never plays a song. Hello, Cleveland. Yeah. yeah. How's everybody doing tonight? Yeah, oh my Cleveland, gosh. Let's rock. And then oh they never gosh. say anything of substance. Yep. Nothing of substance. No. It's so easy to get it's so easy to get people riled up and, and and to get people to respond that way if you just if you just use those buzzwords and you don't really say anything but you just say stuff that that resonates with people because it's just, you know, fun and whatever. But when you get down to it and you're actually having conversations and you're and you're actually looking back at them and you're saying, "Okay, this is what you're doing. And we brought up the fact many times that Andy Signor, dude, when he gets around Jody, he becomes a completely different person. He jumps on this bandwagon. He admitted it on, on your channel, Max, yeah. where it's like, oh, well, you know, I mean, I was on, I was on Jody's channel and I have to act that way when I'm on Jody's channel. And nah. then we talk talking about Vito. He's like, Vito was a guest on my channel. So I had to meet with what he was doing or I would be rude. No, it's like, you just, be who you are all the time and you'll be okay. You know, right, but right. like you said, that doesn't sell. That doesn't, that doesn't bring in the money apparently because he's not interesting enough on his own to get oh. people to watch and to get people to, to care. Well, it, he has it, to emulate other people. Basically. It, it's like, I, I am addicted to watching the corner. Like I am like bad reality television, like Jersey shore or something in the past. I don't watch it anymore, but I've watched a few. And like, this is a train wreck. This is ridiculous. Yep. And, and it's a, it's a, it's a show. It's not, there's no, no, I still have my integrity and credibility. He said, I, I laughed my ass off. I'm like, no, you do not. And uh, he, the movie talk predictors, he is pretty, he's pretty bad. I think, I think Dumbcock might have more wins than Jody. Mm -hmm. Actually. And, and he just reports that other Steve people leak with the, the rise of Skywalker leaks, but that's everyone knew it. He just took credit for it. But uh, yeah. what has Jody Thomas predicted correctly so far? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> nothing. Absolutely nothing. All he does is offer his take on stuff that's happening. And try, he's, he's tried to predict that, that you know, the Snyder Cut was dead how many times now? Because he well, wants it dead. It's not I, because it's going away. It's because he wants it dead. I do want to bring up a subject that we talked about. I don't know if you're on this part of my show. Uh, what do you think of all the talk about? And I actually did. I was going to play part of Grace's video, just the part where, where her interview with Zach, where he's mm -hmm. talking about um, the how it throws in the canon of DCEU. We, and he's yeah. just like, I'm just, but everyone is focusing on that part of her interview, trying to say, see, Snyder Cut doesn't matter. How it's like to me, to me, honestly, and I, I want to hear from your viewers too, and you, yeah. Enosh. Yeah. Uh, is it in the same category as erasing the sequel trilogy is saying the Snyder cut doesn't matter for the no, future? No, because that's not what he said. And, and here and here's the thing. Like, if you actually pay attention to what Zack Snyder said, Zack Snyder was basically just making a statement about where his movie falls in line with everything else. Now, since Justice League came out, there's been what there's been there's been, uh, uh, you know, Shazam. There's been Aquaman. Uh, so we've seen other, there's been birds of prey, you know, where we've seen these other movies within the DC, the DCU, right. And so, or the DCEU. And so you're going back what, four years mm -hmm. now to a movie that he started four years ago that had, that's going to have a different relevancy because we're just seeing it now than we saw it. than if we saw it in theaters back in 2017, Right. It's going to it's a different it's a, it's a different uh, time because there's things that have come after it. Now, I don't personally think that anything is in Shazam or Aquaman or any of the or Birds of Prey that is that is going to be so different or, or thrown off from from Zack Snyder's Justice League that we're going to look at it and go, oh, well, this doesn't make any sense now. That, mm -hmm. I, I don't think that's going to happen, but I think that Zach is preparing us that for those idiots out there like Jody and, and like Andy and others who are going to say, oh, but this doesn't make sense because this didn't happen and whatever, because we're getting a completely different movie. 
you know, and so so him just saying, hey, it's it's in a different continuity. He even brings up the the multiverse and it's not a it's not a, a mistake or an accident that the first movie that we're pretty much going to get out of this is the flash movie that mm -hmm. deals with the multiverse so people are reading into it they're trying to act like it's going to you know undo everything and get rid of everything and that's not what the man said at all they're they're trying to find anything to hang yeah, he, he has on. to in, in a, the smartest thing zach can do right now because they paid him more money he got a new contract is not speak adversely to the future of the DCU or make suggestions that rightfully so um, Snyder Cut fans are passionate. If he leads us along the way too far and we don't get it, he doesn't want to create a scenario like that way where yeah. Warner Media and AT&T Warner Brothers is going to get mad at him again. Yeah. Uh, because Warner Brothers, that's one thing Andy Signor is somewhat right about. They did not like his vision years ago they did they yeah. hijacked it uh for sure so he doesn't want to create a scenario like that his whole focus is and he's in it right now he's in the thick of it he's doing these cons and then he's going to work on it and then it's going to be released he's working on it from home his team i think is remote working i don't know how all it's going to work maybe he'll talk about that too this weekend i don't know but he's He's going to go in the thick of it now. He finished his uh, Netflix movie, Dawn of or the De Dead Army. I forget what it's called. Army of the Dead. Army of the Army Dead, of the yeah. Dead uh, which I'm excited about, too. Man, it's, it's great to be a Zack Snyder fan. We get two great things. I, 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 going back, we, he might not have done that if he stayed on uh, Justice League. Honestly, he might not have got that movie. And sure. that, might be, that might be something amazing, too. So we're, we're getting the best of Zack. He has to stay focused on saying, I'm completing this vision and not comment. Because also, they might switch again. They might, I mean, they're conf they're showing confidence now, but these are movie studios. They, I always say the most important time, now it's different for streaming, but they streaming numbers too. The most important time in movies is opening weekend. It used to be. Lots of decisions are made on the Monday morning after. Yeah, uh, They want to see that box office. They want to see if it trends reactions um so they are they they are showing confidence in the snyderverse yes the snyderverse beyond just justice league it branches out yeah the, the 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 building blocks are there and they all start with the snyderverse i'm sorry if you like gal Gadot, you like the snyderverse and stop denying it if you like jason momoa if you like maybe the one you could say isn't connected directly with the Snyderverse is Shazam. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, it's still, once they interact with the rest, it's the building blocks are there. They're not going to be erased like some internet idiots say about the sequel trilogy. Well, you, it's not going noticed, anywhere. You notice that, uh, that Zach made sure to point out very clearly that he is a producer on Wonder Woman. Yes. You know, but yes. that's but that's been a, a denial factor for for Andy and Jody this whole time. They they, uh -huh. try, they, they try, I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh no, 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 no. He's not involved anymore. He's not involved anymore. It's like, dude, you guys are idiots. Like, he's he's very involved in that stuff. He's produced that stuff. It's it's a world that he created. Mm -hmm. You know, and yes, people are playing in that world and doing different things in that world, but he created it, like you said. And and if you if you like part of it. Like you don't have to like everything. I'm not telling everybody that they have to love everything that comes out of uh, out of Zack Snyder's mind. But the thing is, is to is to act, you know, to act like he's he's somehow uh, a detriment to DC or a detriment nah. to things. That that's just stupid. That's just over the top and stupid. And like you said, he um, he's going to make this movie, and we're all going to see it. You know, and none of us know how it's actually going to be. But I, I know this, if, if you're a fan of Zack Snyder in general, you know, if you like movies like Watchmen, if, if you like Man of Steel, if you like Batman v Superman, you're probably going to like his take on Justice League. Would, would, could we re, would you be yeah. okay with rewatching that part of the interview that everyone talks about? I wanna, I've only watched it once. Uh, which, which part? Of Grace's interview where he talks about continuity to get it from the man himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We could do that. Could do that. Uh, I, I could share it here. Hold on. Yeah, if that's all right. Oh, I mean, yeah, it's, it's, if you want to share it, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead and share it. Yeah, if you got it. Yeah, I, I, well, I only about. watched it once. I, I was thinking about doing a reaction, but we could just do it here. Because I, 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 I got to get going to bed. Hey, guess oh, who's okay. on? Drunk 3PO's here. Oh, really? 
Yeah. No, I don't see him. Where he, is he? It says that he's he's here. He, he's he's in the he's in the backstage area. Should we welcome him in, or do you or do you want to? Are you serious? I'm I'm dead serious. I don't believe you. Uh, well, we can we, uh, we can see if it's him. I mean, that's okay. all we can do, right? Okay. All right. All right. Let's do it. Drop three, PO. Is that you? Is that really you? No. Oh, oh, hold on a second. I got him muted. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I, it says that I can't. They have to choose to choose to unmute themselves. So he was he was muted. So I don't know if he was he was maybe he just came in the backstage area and uh, and was gone thinking that he wasn't going to come in right away. But be careful. Some people do some trickery here. I know. Uh, drunk. I hope that's you. Are you're not park hopping? Yep, I'm trying to unmute him, but yeah, I'm not. Well, I'll put him back in the backstage, and I'll just send him a message and tell him, "Hey, if it's him, uh, you know, I mean, it might be it might be that guy that follows Snowdub and tries to get on his streams." <laughs> oh yeah, well, cool. yeah, yeah. All right, guys, I'm gonna take off though. Um, okay, I, I got to get going to bed. I got to get up in the morning. Um, okay. Everybody, have a great night. Thanks for having me on, uh, Enosh. I love it. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. Always a pleasure, Max. Yeah, uh, take yeah. easy. Bye, bye. Have a good night, guys. You too. All right. I think I might head out too. Oh bit. no! Maybe after, maybe after the 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 um Zack Snyder interview. Yeah, this is a party. Don't leave the party. All right. Well, uh, but yeah. I understand Brian's got to work. But Mister Freeze, no no excuse. <laughs> you just drink your coffee. You just drink your coffee, Mister Freeze. The no, snowballs on this one. The snow. He's he's hanging out with Snowdub too much. He's he's giving me a lot of pushback. All right. <laughs> Yeah, no, uh, uh, yeah, go ahead, man. But if you got, if you got that, uh, this is, I, it's, she even marks it. I don't I have to find out how to do this, Mark. Time, uh, you know, continuity. Yeah, Although my, 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 my streams are not really laid out logically. I'm all over the place. So I don't know if I can do that. All right, let's, let's, I want to hear her. This is a great interview. I just want to hear this part again because this is what's getting the, this is honestly the part of the interview that's getting the most talked about, right? Yep. Okay. What they want to know, there's been a lot of talk about continuity, cinematic universes, mm -hmm. right? Uh, it just, that, that just dominates comic book movie discussion over all these days. And some fans have been wondering how or even if the, your version of Justice League relates to the rest of the DCEU. Right. Care to clarify? Yeah, yeah, no, it's a, it's a, it's a really, it's a good question in that, you know, we shot the movie in 2016, you know, like, oh, um, Things happen fast in Hollywood. It's, uh, like, yeah, it'll be it'll be five years old when it comes out. It, for me, you know, I've been living with it for that long. So, you know, I think that like, um, and, and and frankly, the 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 DC you know cinematic universe has gone on its branched like a tree and blossomed and grown in an amazing and great ways. Like, I, look, I'm a I'm a producer on. Um, <laughs> Mm -hmm. I'm super excited about what Patty's done. With I actually movie. agree with um phobics taking the it's comments. Be, it's amazing, and I love that. You know how. Oh, what does he say? I, I can't see it. He said, he said, uh, he said that she's not bad, she's not good, but she's not bad. Okay. <laughs> Grace is so he's just, he Basically, he, he, he's just saying she's average. That's what he's trying to say. I think. Yeah, I mean, she's or, all right. Okay. Like I, I like I don't I don't I don't kneel at her altar. I don't think that she's like great. <laughs> 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 no, seriously, like, like I, I, uh, uh, I mean, as far as movie talk pundits go, she's pretty cream of the crop. All right, Snow Dub. All right, yeah, Snow Dub. So. Good to see you, man. Good to see yeah. you. Tuck and but, roll. Uh, at tuck and roll. But hey, but yeah, I mean, like, I, um, um, I, I don't know. Like, so there's, there's something about her every once in a while that's just a little weird and seems a little off. Yeah, that's why but, I like her. Yeah, that's the thing, man. Is the crazy ones, man. That's the kind you want, man. So right. yeah, yeah. Look at my channel. <laughs> there you go. All right. Let's see what else. I I, I want to hear this part because he's starting to. Gal, it's like you know very close to me, and so you know that that's a cool. That's great. That's amazing. I think to me, and um, you look at like what Matt's doing with Batman, and um, you know, uh, you have this. And uh, by the way, I think. I'm super excited about that, by the way. I, I really oh, so am I. I, I be very I, interesting. I think he's an amazing filmmaker, and I think this is a great. And Robert's cool, and I just think it's cool. Anyway. Um, I'm sure they appreciate that. Well, it's just a, <laughs> I'm a fan, so I, mm -hmm. I'm excited. Um, but um, 
you know, for me, in the like, you know, where the movie falls. This is the important part. Okay. This is sort of this is important part, everyone, right? This is let's talk about this next section. All right. I I believe that it, it really starts to represent its own its own path. You know, it doesn't really it, it's kind of separate now from what I would say the the DC universe cinematic universe in continuity. I think it is kind of, it's divergent in that way. And I think that that's a good thing. I think that, you know, the power of DC and it, one of its cool strengths is the sort of multiverse concept where, you know, and also where they kind of put filmmakers first and say, you know what guys, we want to hear your voice, your individual voices, take these characters and do a run. And so sort of show us what like, you know, you would do um, in sort of the great tradition of, comic book writing and 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 runs that have done have okay done. i think that's enough that's that's what's getting the most thing it's a divergent in its own way does that mean it's yeah. not but the, the question the question is then is it is it not canon and is it so divergent that it the rest of the dcu has nothing to do with it no i think later on he also says it branches off mm -hmm. uh i think it's the smart thing to do to say that it's he's focusing on this um what i'm sick i'm sick oh because i like grace okay yeah because you're because you're great your grace randolph thing that you kneel at her uh altar i think yeah yeah I would. You, I would. you and film gob i would yeah. say <laughs> I would. Uh, but a lord snyder is peaking well oh speaking oh <laughs> uh i i don't know i i could kind of, re-watching it i could kind of see where where they're coming from but still to saying yeah. it doesn't matter that's different that's a step too far to saying yeah it's a little cut doesn't spin. matter right that's where i have a problem with where they're taking it it's like oh yeah i i support it now because it doesn't matter that's that's a hater speaking honestly oh uh, oh guess guess what guys now, now ryan kennel's in the background oh okay now i know it's, now i know what's yeah. going on yeah yeah we're, we're, we're not stupid okay. yeah we're not oh uh, yeah yeah yeah, I, I I would I would welcome those guys to really come on the, on the channel at any time. Uh, but uh, you know the, the thing is is no, I I understand what you're saying, Max. But but the reality is is we're is like he said, we're talking about a movie that he made starting four years ago, mm -hmm. right? There's no way that he can adjust everything for everything that's come out since then, right? And plus, you, you know, Max and and I just thought about this. I mean, I I know that that it, it is what it is. But like I, uh, 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 I, I know that, uh, that we're, that we're, that we're saying like, he's redoing this movie, but the reality is this is the first time that we've ever seen a movie get replaced with another movie. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like this is kind of unprecedented. Well, well here's another question that, they, that I would do follow up for these people that say it's going to be, it doesn't matter. It's going to be erased if it is divergent. Does it still matter with the continuity? Yes, it still matters. Things that happen there probably will be referenced in Flashpoint. Flashpoint could go a to any direction it wants to, honestly. And if you're going to go that route, what does uh, what does the rest of the DCEU movies, they before Flashpoint too, they could be divergent as well. Everything could be divergent. Flashpoint. It could be totally could go, different. It could be totally right. right. So it's, a mar it's more of a marker for the DCEU than saying the Snyder Cut is irrelevant. Uh, I've long said that it's possible that both Justice League and Zack Snyder's Justice League are both canon. Everything's canon because of the multiverse and what they could do with Flashpoint. You don't okay. know. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Exactly. So so I am going to... So so this person in the chat keeps telling me that they are Ryan Kennel. Um, uh, are that, I, I, I totally doubt it. And I, but you know what? I have a morbid, I, have, I know, I, I know I it's not, I know it's not, but I have this mor morbid curiosity. Just and make I, sure he doesn't say anything nasty. I know we got it. We're going to have a laugh. Ryan Kennel. Hey, what's up? Ryan Kennel. Look at all buff in that picture there. That's an old picture. That is an old picture. Uh, and so oh, no, has... it's still muted. You're on man. This is your chance, but you're cool. muted. Quarantine hasn't mute. been well to your noodles. Eat your noodles. You got you got to mute yourself. Unmute yourself, man. I can't unmute you. I gave you a chance. All, All right. right. All right. Yeah. Uh, it is what it is, man. I just I just had to laugh. Like that yeah. was uh that's funny. But no, I, I I think you're right, man. I uh it's still important. 
even if it's divergent, you know. Yeah, I mean, because I think I think that it's setting up uh, 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 it's setting up something completely different. You know what I mean? Uh, and it, it's going in a in a completely different uh, a, a completely different way than than anything that we've seen before. And like I said, this is the first time that I know of. Can you think of anything, guys, where where they've literally uh, uh, replaced another movie? Well, the only thing that comes close is the Blade Runner um, movie, the original, with like the four different cuts, like the theatrical, the but international, that, yeah. and that the, was like um, one one director. movie, and it wasn't like at that time it was going to be a franchise. Like now, it's sort of yeah. a franchise with twenty forty nine. Um, but yeah, yeah, I, I see what you mean there, sci fi. Yeah, uh, yeah. So I this but, is uh, unprecedented territory. Don't don't make any assumptions on how it's going to go down. That's what I say. Even if you hear from Zack Snyder himself, uh, yes, he's going to play it down. Maybe he played it down too much to give the haters some ammo with mm -hmm. saying that statement. Um, I personally don't. I don't. You know what? I don't. I I, I think they're all off track with their takes on it. But mm -hmm. I really don't care that much as long as we get the Zack Snyder Justice League. See how it plays out, and I hope the uh, reception is is very positive from outside the Snyder cut fandom, the bubble. Yeah. Yeah. I, I hope so too. I, I hope that, you know, like I hope that this movie comes out and people just rally around it and go, you know what? I didn't want this movie. This was a movie that I didn't want. I didn't like it. I, I didn't like the idea, but once I saw it, I appreciated it. Well, he's making it safe too, because even though there's positivity and trending around the Snyder cut, there is unfortunately a scenario where it gets the same pushback as Batman v Superman, even though, in my opinion, more people appreciate it now than they did then. It has that pos there's a possibility of that. So in case in case that is the scenario that happens, and people are like, oh, what was that? They don't like it still. Zack Snyder's vision. That's not going to be me. But then they'll be like, okay, we could do our thing with uh, Flash Flashpoint. Mm -hmm. I think that they, they may even have different things they could do on the Flashpoint script, depending on the outcome of, uh, especially since yeah. writers are just working from home and stuff. They, they, I would think a, a logical company right now would have different scenarios prepared to get Flashpoint going after Snyder Cut's released, the filming, mm -hmm. and adjust. I don't think they're filming before Snyder Cut comes out. I have to see about that. I'd have to see. Don't you think they're going to have release it first or at least have it done, know the whole thing before uh, they start filming? I don't know if they're filming. I should look that up when they're filming Flashpoint. I know it was delayed. Yeah, like everything else is delayed. But because how how pivotal that, that specific movie is in the DCEU, I think we all think it is going to be, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah so I think they're going to leave time for adjustments in different scenarios, depending on the reception, my personal opinion. I, I, I think so too, man. I think, I think that at, at the end of the day, this, this movie is going to come out and we're all going to get to see Zach's vision. And then we're all going to have to make decisions about how we feel about it. And the thing is, is if, if, is if it's overwhelmingly received, well, it, it's going to take everything in a new path. Because this will become the 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 version that that the fans latch onto, you know, and it's gonna take it's gonna take. I will say this. I will say this because we live in a YouTube bubble, and I have said this too, is that we live in this YouTube bubble, and so this is something that we're aware of. Okay, we're we're all aware of the Snyder Cut. We're all aware of everything that's going on, but you know, there's a lot of people out there who are who they don't know any of this stuff is even going on. You know what I mean? Like they're going to hear that there's a new Justice League movie and a lot of people are probably going to think that it's a sequel to the last Justice League movie. Oh, that's a, yeah, that is a problem actually, yeah. You know what I mean? They're not going to understand the 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 um the story behind this. I I had to explain this whole thing to somebody a couple of days ago because like they just go to movies. You know what I mean? They don't they don't know any of that stuff. And so, you know, they're not they're not worried about all that stuff. You know, they just went to go see the Justice League movie and they don't know all the, the story and the history behind it. They didn't know what happened with Zack Snyder's you know daughter. They, they didn't know all that stuff. And right. so um, so there's going to be an education 
that's going to have to to be there as well you know from from fans and from people that once this thing comes out to be able to explain to people well yeah, this is what happened you know i i long said i think there should be supplemental material like a documentary even before it's released like working on Zack snyder's finalizing completing or finalizing Zack snyder's uh justice league and tell a little bit of the backstory of how it got like this do a little mini documentary with Zach. I don't. I don't know if they're going to do it, but I would. I would eat that up before leading up to it. Little, you know, preface to the release. Yeah. Uh, explaining to everyone on on HBO Max, but I, who knows if they'll actually do that? I would love it. I would love some type of announcement like that. He's all. He's already good about talking right right to his fans or documentary with the Absolutely. these uh, commentaries and stuff. I would. I hope there's supplemental stuff. Yeah. Than just the Snyder cut. Uh, just Zach's Zack Snyder's Justice yeah League. because if we just if we just get get this Justice League movie or this Justice League series or whatever it turns out to be um there will have to be something else because pretty much the this movie was supposed to end on a cliffhanger mm -hmm. you know so if this movie ends on a cliffhanger and there's nothing else after that a lot of people are going to be pretty disappointed that they don't get to see what happens after that mm -hmm. so so my my thing is is there's got to be some kind of plan you know that like what do we do after this if if the fans react to this well they're going to want to see what what comes next what happens next and and i think that uh that there will be people who will uh who, who will respond to it that way and 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 want to see what happens next and if if you do that they will uh you know the, the, the studio has writers working on this. I think that I think that that's their thing right now is they're going to spend this next year or so, whatever it takes to get that movie out. Uh, and they're going to work on how how do we approach this? You know, what what's the next logical step? Mm -hmm. You know, so. Oh, it's exciting yeah. time. So tomorrow or I mean, actually, later today for me, mm -hmm. uh, we'll be getting Zack Snyder himself. Maybe there'll be some juicy tidbits there of something new or new you know uh i i know at least a, a a clip or a scene or a trail a new trailer wow. great stuff coming for d it's dc is where it's at right now nothing else Absolutely. is rolling except mandalorian season two in october i think mm -hmm. as far as we know it's still on yeah. track for release yes and unfortunately they already filmed it <laughs> unfortunately you know i said fortunately oh fortunately, yes yeah. yes yeah and there's also um godzilla versus con too just that's delayed. Bring it back to Godzilla. That's Ms. I know Ms. that's delayed though. I know, but it's still coming out though. I mean, it's not like it's coming out next year. Still, mm -hmm. I guess I don't know. Yeah, yeah. So everything's so it, coming out next year. I, I I think it's funny uh, that that the trolls are in the background because like first it was drunk three PO, then it was Ryan, then it was Jeremy, and and they're all they're all back there going oh J like, like Jeremy's back there going uh tell, telling you to stop drinking Max. And uh, and wants to come in and stuff. He says, "I can't wait to see the Snyder cut. I want to see Apocalypse. MCU sucks." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> idiots. Oh my gosh, Matt Jarvo popped in for a second. I was going to bring him in, but then he was gone. And it actually was him. Okay. But I, said, I don't know what happened to him because I, I wanted uh, to bring him in. But yeah, I mean, so but um, I mean, so what? So what was your take after after you after you did this thing last night with with Signor? Okay. After you did this, I thing, think I'm right? gonna uh, um, head out, guys. All right, man. All right. All right. Yeah, Thanks kick, for having me. On. Kick, kick Absolutely. rocks, Mister Freeze. Kick rocks. I got, I got to talk to you tomorrow. No. <laughs> so, so you went on this on this Twitch thing last night, and they, so yeah. he was he's he's playing uh, Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. He 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 said it's sort of an interview. Um, every time I got going, it was his show. So I, you know, I was being polite. Every time I got going with something, he's like, Oh, hold on. I got to finish my thought. Or when I started going, it's like, Oh, I got to say where we're at, what track we're on for the viewers listening to. And he was weird. Uh, boomer dancing. Uh, it was uncom uncomfortable. Uh, I mean, it was okay. I don't hate the man. I think, I, th I, I think my criticisms are totally valid. Mm -hmm. And I I brought up the fandom liar thing, and I said I actually I I absolutely do call you a liar because there's so much uh, stuff and spin there that's not organic news when you search it out, especially when you have a nerd wars that same week. And he yeah. he really does not want to comment on that part. He's like, uh, 
it, I'm, I'm not a liar. That's what the source said. I said, but the way you take things out of context with, with the Kevin Smith and remember the Kevin Smith interview, he took like a minute of like a 30 minute interview and said, see, this proves me right about my scoop. I'm like, there's so much conflict bias and spin of what you take that I can't trust your so-called called source. Even if you have a source, probably taking any source you could get. The other thing is reaching out to the sources that are going to say what you want to hear. Like if you really want to do your work, you would you would try to source someone that's in um, Jeff John's camp at Warner Brothers and someone else in the Snyder Cut too. You yeah. wouldn't just take someone in the Jeff John's camp. And the other possibility is a lot of these people that make their living on the internet might might do a leading question, and the source might say a simple answer. You say, "Would it?" He, he, he could propose, this is a scenario that I think is very plausible with a lot of these that quote sources, is saying, would you say that Warner Brothers doesn't want to have anything to do with Zack Snyder? It actually hates the Snyder Cut. And that then the source could probably just respond yes. And then he could lead, he could write an article. That's a very plausible scenario. You have to understand how these things work. Uh, it's not organic at all. And that's my criticism of him. The, the Fandom Wire article was not organic. Look what happened that next week. And look at week to week with these nerd wars. It's always something. This week it was uh, uh, Ray Fisher. You know? Yeah. And, and yeah. he was trying to get talking about clout chasing. He's, you know, he's he shared something. I do have you. You probably have questions about it too. I do. Even if you question to see if there's a lot there or not, are you going to mock him, a potential victim? No. And and no. and Max, that's exactly what I've said. I said, look, I don't know what's going on with that whole situation. Right. Between, I'm not happy with Ray it. Fisher between Ray Fisher and Joss Whedon. I don't. We don't know what happened. We can only we can only go off of what has been said. But honestly, Ray needs to step it up if you're going to open up a can of worms. You got to be willing to, right. to share that and say that, especially when you're in a public forum. Well, there like might that. be reasons that they he, he might the Warner Media might have told him to shut it too. He, his lawyer yeah. or his uh, his uh, manager. There could yeah. be lots of people like, oh, stop this now. Wait till the Snyder cuts released. Mm -hmm. You know, well, because uh, even I, think, though, I ultimately I don't think it's good press for the movie. No, no, no. no. The timing was odd. Yes, I still support Ray. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, and it's not like I hope there's a big nasty scoop there. I don't hope there's anything, and I don't hope he brought it without. I don't think he would lie just for clout himself. Is kind of like that's the that's where I yeah. called them out on the stream where I was like, I think you're you're trying you're really spinning it that his him his barber not getting. Uh, credit in the credits of the movie was the abuse that Joss. They're really they were pushing that narrative, which is bull yeah. baloney. Yeah, that was this. That was the the stream. That was and that's probably why he they call, called out about having a toxic stream because the Vanity Fair article was saying that uh, now that we're getting representation on screen mm -hmm. for black actors or African American yeah. actors. What about supporting roles? So they were asking for input, and Ray, which had a pre probably a previous relationship with his article that came out about Joss, yep. chimed in, and you can't blame him for chiming in for personal experience. No, and and you know, and I found that amazing because they're in their original uh, in their original live stream that I commented on. They didn't talk about that at all. Yeah. Like they, they didn't, you know, they didn't they didn't push the the idea that hey, this was a a, a um, uh, an article from Vanity Fair or whatever, yeah, or yeah. For, they, for Variety, I'm sorry. So uh, they took his comment out of context without saying why is he commenting. They're trying to say this yep. isn't a, just is just trying, trying to make it, it, out, that, that, just trying it make out that Ray Fisher was just was just mad because his barber didn't get yeah. get, get representation. And it's like, no, Ray Fisher was commenting now, was on it a, a variety slight jab at Joss. It could have been. Yeah, it could. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure he's got bias against Joss for whatever reason. Um. I don't think it was great timing either, Ray. I, I still support you, and it's not like I hope something happened, but you know. Um, yeah, yeah. It, and and, and what about the hypocrisy of, of claiming that uh, because someone's a hairstylist is not an artist doesn't deserve credit when you're just a, a barking seal for cash apps on the internet? 
I mean, I, I respect someone with art. I mean, not that we don't have any legitimacy, legitimacy. I'm not saying it right. Being online, yeah, being online, engaging with viewers. Uh, this is work too. But yeah. in the grand scheme of things, an artist that's working, you know, uh, I think they just deserve credit. What would happen if Jody doesn't get uh, a credit in Wonder Woman 84, which I, I don't know if that's going to happen or not. I don't know, like, is a as an extra don't, yeah. don't they give extras credit uh it depends probably upon what they do yeah. i mean if, if you know if, if if they're anything specific they they might but but not if i mean pretty much not if you don't have a speaking role oh, okay. if, if you're if you're just in the background somewhere you're not going to get you're not going to get credit all right well so. that would be the day if i see jody's oh, name <laughs> dude, dude well well it could be it could be like uh up here in michigan we we've got a um a senator debbie stabenow and i cannot stand debbie stabenow and debbie stabenow is in batman v superman she's the old uh -huh. redhead old redhead lady at the uh at the museum when, oh. when clark and and bruce first meet who's who's there and dude it's the one thing about batman v superman that is like as soon as i'm sitting there watching it and she pops up and i'm just like because <laughs> they shot it down they shot it here in detroit and I was just like, oh, no, please don't ruin my Superman movie with Debbie Stabenow's face. Like, oh, my God, no. <laughs> Ugh, I, but... I'll have to look that up because I have to see who I recognize her. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she She's right in there in that in that scene. Uh, and it's just, you know, so, yeah, I, I really hope that uh, that he doesn't show up. Where it's noticeable. Where it's noticeable and yeah. like ruin this movie for all of us, you know? Well, I don't uh, want him to be canceled out of the film either, but I, I honestly think he's his own worst enemy there. Yeah. Um, I, I'd, I'd be happy with him being canceled out of the film. I, I canceled Jody out uh -oh. of the film as far as I'm concerned, man. I do not want to see Jody in Wonder Woman at all. I mean, uh, I don't want to see it, but I if that's i mean it means so much to him i i don't i don't dislike him that i think he's full of it yeah but, oh this is the yeah that's her I don't, I don't yeah remember. that's her that's her uh i don't remember picture. that scene so i can get the picture of her up here i don't know if i can get her up here <laughs> anyway but yeah yeah that uh yeah she, she's just not she's just not one of my uh not not a shining example for for the state <laughs> I understand. I understand, but you know, but you know, you you do what you do when when, when you uh, when when you have uh, influence and clout, and you get a movie like Batman to be Superman to get shot, and you know, in your state, you know, plus, plus uh, Wayne Manor, literally uh, where they built Wayne Manor, you know, and and the whole Wayne property is literally like twenty five minutes from where I live. Oh, that's cool. Yep, yep. It's it's just been a state park, and they just they just built that facade out there, and and then they tore it down. <laughs> they, they built Wayne Manor and then tore it right down. Oh. You know? So you can't go see it. Yeah, it's it's not there. And then I saw some cool action figures coming out. Did you see the X Men anniversary movie figures? No, I didn't see those. They, they look like Hugh Jackman and uh, Rebecca Remain Stamos from Mystique in uh, 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 Ian McKellen and Patrick Stewart. They actually okay. look like the. They, I think they got the license to actually do them. So uh, so somebody's asking here. Uh, uh hey guys just got in here why would jody be in wonder woman uh because that? he 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 had some type of interaction with um gal Gadot and uh what's patty jenkins mm -hmm. and i think he he's been uh promoting warner brothers stuff that's not snyder cut for a while um so he i think he got he weaseled his way into as an extra <laughs> Yeah, uh, and I think it's already filmed. Uh, he ought, honestly, they might. He might. Be, he's not relevant enough that they're not gonna, like. If they need to cut a scene and he's in it, they're just going to cut it. They're not oh, going to yeah. worry about him. So we'll have to see if. Well, he's we won't get the Jody it. cut. Uh, put, cut Jody. Cut <laughs> Jody. Hashtag, cut, cut Jody. Not the Jody. Hashtag. Hashtag. hashtag, hashtag cut. Jody. Reject. <laughs> reject. Reject the 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 the, the Jody. Uh, reject. Reject the Jody extra. <laughs> exactly exactly yeah so I, is, yeah. is he in the background saying cash out <laughs> in fact, yeah. he's in the back cash out cash, <laughs> cash out yeah oh my gosh yeah just just sitting there i mean anyone chat. that makes anyone that makes a song about it uh come on come on i mean that's a bridge too far for me 
I'm sorry. Yeah, you know, you know that whole thing. That look, I get it, and we we get excited here on the channel anytime somebody gives a super chat or something yeah. like that. You know, because we're we're just grateful, we're just thankful for it, and I get that you can you can joke around with it, you know, and and have some fun. It's with a it or it's a strong it's the focus of a show. Yeah, I think. But that's the thing is like when when you're making when you're straight up making the focus here of like, hey, we just want your money. Yeah, you know. I mean, I I think I that's something I, that appeals to me about your channel too. You're like, and it, you you have talent. You're an artist. You're a musician too. You're a mm -hmm. collector. But you're like, uh, we're all everyman uh, movie talk people. We're just fans. Uh, they they try to do this, try to separation from the viewer and paywalls. I mean, the there the options are there for sure if you want to support people. Yep. But uh, you, who who are you? I mean, these people on the internet, they think they're big stuff. You're just a person on the internet, on YouTube. Uh, your viewers are just like you. And um, my channel, I try to limit that as much as possible. Uh, I understand it, it does help channels, especially. It actually helps the small channels. The people that get it the most don't need it, really. The small yeah. channels is where it really helps. Yep. Um. So it does. It is a way to support it, but getting to that secondary to the topics that shows where your focus is. Yeah, uh, that's why I appreciate your channel here. Oh well, I I appreciate that, man, and I and I I like your channel too, man. I that you know, uh, I, I I love the fact that there's community, hmm. you know, amongst uh, you know a lot of YouTubers. Uh, for for those of you guys who don't know who are who are regulars here on the, my channel, I know a lot of you guys are actually here because uh, you found me through. Max, I get people all the time who come in and say, Hey, I found you through Max, you know, and, and I'm, I'm appreciative of that, you know? And, uh, I think Max, I think you found me because of the video I did on Jody. Mm -hmm. wasn't it? Yeah. And so, uh, you know, I just, I love the fact that we can all get together. We talk about the, the stuff that's going on, but we talk about it, I think from a different perspective, because we talk about it from the perspective of, Hey, we are fans. We're out here just living our lives. You know, um, we're, we're trying to do our thing. And we want to talk about this stuff, you know, and we invite, we're trying to be inclusive. We, you know, like, like, you know, t I know typically like tonight would be like a, like a, a, a talk back thing. And that's what I kind of uh, put it out to be, but it's kind of taken on a life of its own, but that's cool. Um, but the thing is, it's like, yeah, being able to do shows like that, you know, and that's why I like different, different YouTubers who are part of this group, Max, is because we're all just, we're all just here because we love this stuff and we, we we're having fun. Mm -hmm. you know um and so um you know it, it is what it is you know a true true diversity of thought too like my man phobic in the chat mm -hmm. he does not like me hating on the sequel trilogy and your sequel trilogy defender and, and fan and yeah. he loves it too uh but, you know people can talk with different opinions can coexist yes uh, i don't i don't really see that in a lot of places a lot of places say yeah. they have it but i don't actually see the proof of it uh yeah. really it's just uh Oh, Max is a bridge builder. Okay. There you go. There no, you go. I, I, I honestly, that's one of my goals when I start. I, I didn't want to live stream at first. I did not start out as a live streaming channel. But uh, people, some of my friends, like, if you're going to criticize others, do it yourself. And I'm like, okay. Uh, and I, I honestly want to talk. I That's something else because I my strong stance on paywalls and then talking directly from the viewer, actually bringing them on the show. Mm -hmm. uh so much like it's a strong focus of my channel uh that's also i think is another reason i'm a little bit ghosted by some people there's not much profitability in that there's not i mean when you want when you create the paywalls and that's the focus or that's what your goals are for uh having the free option so prevalent it's not appealing to some people I, yeah. I, I appreciate you have the options here, but you em embrace people just coming on too. Like you were going to bring on this nobody that yeah. just pretend to be Ryan Kennel. <laughs> well, because you know, what? well, because you know what, man. To me, it's funny, right? Like to me, it's funny. Like I got nothing to lose, right? Like I, I, I don't care. Like you know, and and the thing, and and if they, and if they had come on and they had done something stupid, I would have just you know kicked them out and they had been gone, you know, and stuff. Uh, they tried, they tried once again as Zack Snyder, like, like, you know, and, and, and the thing is, I don't know if it's somebody being funny and like, going to gonna make like a joke about them, yeah. you know, like, like those guys, you know, doing all that stuff or, or if they're on our side, their side, whatever. But I, I do got to say, it's, it's like, 
I started this channel. I, I didn't start out to be a YouTuber. Mm -hmm. Right. Because okay? it was it was kind of before I knew what a YouTuber was, right? And so uh I started out, I started out on YouTube just to put some of my videos that I just made personally up in a place to store them so other people could see them so I could share with other people. And then when Tiffany and I got together and like we literally started what is kind of now the Poindexter Lounge because of Sharknado 3. <laughs> like like we we watched Sharknado 3 and it was so ridiculous and over the top that we had to talk about it. And we had to talk about it with somebody, right? And so so we just went and uh we we just we made like this 30 minute video and I uploaded it and then we just started doing that. We just started kind of doing movie reviews, you know, and it was nothing special. We didn't have no set, didn't have any mics, didn't I just set up the phone and we just went on about our business. And uh, but it was fun. And then all of a sudden, a, an interesting thing, thing happened because we started live streaming. And you know how we started live streaming was was doing um, uh, just like watch parties. You know, like the watch parties that we're doing and people dug that and people said, hey, you know, uh, because because I used to just do review videos of the flash, you know. And so the only reason I even started was people people like would say, hey, we like your take on the on the show, The Flash. Would you ever consider live streaming so we could watch it with you? And I was like, hmm, OK. So we started doing that. And then we just started like that grew from there, you know, where we started live streaming. And so we would live stream shows and then we would also live stream, you know, to just to talk to people. And it's been so cool because we've met so many awesome people doing this. And that's that's the reason why we're doing this. We're not doing this for a paycheck. Look, you know, people think that people already, I think, think that uh, YouTubers have all this money and that, you know, they're they're, you know, just, you know, speaking of Matt Jarbo. No, yeah, I, yeah, that's yeah, why, right. that's yeah. why I like well, Matt. Right. No, no, that's why I like Matt because he's a true, genuine guy. He has good takes and he, he, he you know, he's honest about, <laughs> yeah. you know, the struggles. And yeah, he doesn't, well, and he doesn't, he doesn't just say, okay, uh, you viewers need to pony up more. He just goes and does this, you know. Well, I know he has plans for income. that. I know he has plans for that. No, I mean, but, but, <laughs> but I mean, that, that's, that, no, this, this is what the typical go to thing a YouTuber does when they, yeah. it gets hard. They put it on the viewer. Oh man, they they really complain constantly and say YouTube is cutting their money. My video got demonetized and put the they cry so much. Yeah, and you don't see Matt crying. He just like goes and does his thing and like yeah, I, I have these options. Yeah. But uh, that's not the focus, and that no. and that's the thing. And if and if people like it, they're they're going to give to it. And that's actually one of the things that I think is so cool about like Matt. And, and you know, I don't want to just like talk about him like he's not here. But I think it's cool about Matt because Matt is somebody that I watched. Mm -hmm. right matt is somebody that that like i actually went to to watch for, about movie news and would listen to his take on stuff and i don't always agree i didn't always agree with matt on stuff but i was subscribed and i and i i watched the i watched his videos and so the fact that like now having gotten to know matt a little bit like matt's a good guy you know what i mean like and so now like i see like where his heart is and the fact that like you know, Matt's, Matt's been around Matt's Matt's rubbed shoulders with some of these people. Matt's got a lot of knowledge of this stuff yet. Matt's in here talking to the, talking with us. And I think that that's a really cool thing. You yeah. know what I mean? That like Matt's, Matt's not like one of these other people that like they live out in this stratosphere of YouTube YouTubers who've been around for a while and think that they're better than everybody else. He's slumming it up with us. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, it's just, it's just, I think that that's really cool. And I, and I, and I think that that's, I think that that's like who I want to be as a YouTuber, no matter where the channel ever goes or, or grows to, I, I don't ever want to be somebody who's unapproachable or people think, you know, that I'm, I got my head in the clouds and I think I'm something that I'm not. I always want to be who I am. I hear you on that one. Well, well, Matt, I would like your opinion on this though. Do you think that movie talk has gone, gone too far, jumped the shark with, uh, fan funded too much, like the focus, even with the big guys, the big guns. Uh, oh, you mean like Schmodown and Campia? Yeah. Uh, yeah. And even grace. I mean, the thing is like, people are going to pay for it. So like, you know, right. that's, that's their prerogative. Right. I guess like you can't, you know, but it's become the, the it's become the focus instead of content. Like, quality yeah, content. yeah. A lot of it is like, uh, um, a lot of it is very much, like that right so you've what you've got is a situation where you know i mean everyone is fighting for relevance everyone is fighting for views everyone is fighting for exposure mm -hmm. uh popularity profitability all that kind of stuff and 
you know, oftentimes if you really start to look at movie punditry, you know, it, there, there's, there's, I'm not, I'm, it boils, especially on YouTube, it boils down to like a couple key franchises and maybe a few ancillary ones. Yeah. Other than that, not a lot of people really care uh, that you'll find in like mass numbers, especially when people get really hyped on the, uh, I need X amount of this to survive sort of thing. Right. Or like, I'm just going to keep trying to grow my, my channel by talking about this one thing. Um, you know, so on YouTube itself, like you kind of run into these problems where, you know, if you are a catch all channel, you talk about a multitude of different geeky topics, yep. you're going to have a harder time growing. It hurts you. Actually. It does hurt you. Yeah. Overall, because people only want to hear about like what they want to hear about. So getting them to be interested in other things, uh, is whatever. So it hurt, it, I can attest to it generally hurts you in the algorithm, actually quality and diversity of content, not doing, doing different types of videos too. Yeah. So it's one of those, uh, it's just, it's kind of like, it is what it is. So, you know, YouTube has been growing. It's, it's evolving all that stuff. And, um, you know, it, it just becomes this like ridiculous kind of king of the hill situation. Mm -hmm. and but i think the bigger i think the bigger factor here is that people got to focus more on trying to build the community than trying to get the numbers mm -hmm. and when you look at let's say certain people i'm not gonna say who but when you look at certain people in certain groups they focus on the numbers they focus on the subs they focus on this the views because the metrics are what define their value rather than the company they keep and that's why they align themselves with with other really crappy people that can game something. Or don't and, call them out at the very least. Yeah. Or yeah. Or like, well, yeah. Say I don't believe something, but you could. You yeah. Know? Yeah. All, all that stuff. And so uh, that's really all it was. And uh, yeah. So you know. Uh, hold on here. I'm trying to find some. But yeah, so it's, I'm sorry, there's something that like, I'll tell you guys about it off air, but like, it's, I'm kind of distracted right now. Oh, sorry. Uh, no, it's, it's something that's ridiculous and it's old, old, old stuff, but I'm like, okay. It's, yeah. Anyway, so I think people should focus more on the community. That's harder to do nowadays, yep. I think, um, because people like, you know, the user as you can also look at like this, where the viewer becomes kind of groomed to or trained i think is a better term for it uh to to respond to a certain thing and to respond to certain um you know key phrases or key terms or key things along those lines yes and when you uh when you dab when you just when you do nothing but talk about something from the negative uh that's who you're going to attract and then that's what they're always going to expect so you cannot under any circumstance start talking about something from the positive because it doesn't benefit you and so when there's something you like, unless it's universally liked, you kind of have to default the, you know, the default is to hate it mm -hmm. and to try to other it. And we've seen this time and time and time again. Um, but then you find there's sometimes where things just kind of go a full different direction, you know, like um, you, you tap into a group of people that you'd never thought were there and they, they keep coming back and that's pretty cool too. But then it's like, do you start a new channel to like move those people to one group or do you like, do you, do you run multiple channels for multiple different subjects? I really wish YouTube would allow us to like, this is why I liked Google uh, plus. Okay. And I know people like to crap on Google plus, but it, honestly it was the most functional social media platform out there mm. because it allowed you like, imagine this, for example, what if you could, when you go to put your, go to put out a video and what it does is, okay, so what if YouTube did this? And maybe I should send them an email and like suggest this. It, it probably would never happen. But if you're covering movies, okay, you're covering entertainment and someone goes to subscribe to your channel and you have different lists, okay? You're different, you're different playlists or different lists or whatever. And, and you ask them, what are you interested in? And then you can define the playlists. Are you interested in Star Wars, Star Trek, gaming, general movie news, whatever, okay? And you have all these lists, all these sub subsections. So then the person subs to your channel and they go, you know what? I only care about Star Wars. Like, okay, great. Click Star Wars. That's it. So when they click subscribe and click that, that, but the, the bell, it's just for that particular subject. So then when you go to post, you can sit there and go, okay, I'm doing a Star Wars video. 
I'm going to put this specifically in the Star Wars playlist, meaning that everyone who subscribed to my channel who just strictly wants Star Wars will then be shown this video mm. or be sent a notification for this video. That way, uh, if they don't want to see a video I'm doing on Batman, it's not going to bog down their feed. Mm. But if they're curious about more then like at the end, when you have the end cards and it shows other videos, maybe from there, they'll want to go and find something else. But I think giving the people the option to streamline what they're interested in from your channel saves the creator the stress of trying to figure out what to talk about that is going to appeal to the most broad aspect of their base without constantly having to go back to the well. Hmm. I mean, then that's what you could do in Google Plus. Did you guys know that? No. Yeah. Yes. No, when I had you, no idea. When you went into Google Plus and you wanted to bring in friends, you could create subboards. Now they would follow you. They'd follow your account, but they would only be put into the subboards that you would create, meaning that they would only see the content you wanted them to see. Hmm. So, or like, so, you know, again, Star Wars, movies, gaming, whatever. You could make posts that would only go out to people who are interested in the same things you are. Lists you would make of your friends, knowing that's what they want to see, but your grandmother wouldn't want to see. <laughs> and that, to me, was such a, a, an awesome thing because it allowed for me to create and cultivate those lists and create and cultivate those groups that would then be interested in the same thing that I'm talking about. Sure. And, and, and then Google, like everyone attacked Google plus when it came out back in 20, I think 2012, you know, I was one of the only ones that was like, this is actually pretty cool. You know, it was pretty cool. And, but like, everyone's like, oh, it's terrible. I hate it. It's going to be integrated into YouTube. You know how it is any, any kind yeah. of change. Yeah. Everyone clutches her pearls, faints on a couch and turns into a boomer. <laughs> and, but it's like, no, but if you think about it, like, you know, we have lists on Facebook. We, you know, we, we have preferred lists on Twitter, but they're not accessible in a way that is meaningful exactly and and so like you know like i've got a bunch of subs of people that i follow and whatnot and truth of the matter is i don't always watch everyone's content so i stop seeing it after a while yep because youtube does that they if you don't see some click on a video that someone has uh you're not going to sit there and and you know see the rest of their stuff and then the second you do and then the second yeah then <laughs> it's back yeah, so it's just that whole notion of of bullshit. Mm -hmm. Um you know, so it's just like yeah. It is it is what it is. Um there's a lot of uh a lot of nonsense in in that front. There's a lot of nonsense in in everything. Um but it's just it, it's that they were fine if they could find a way to allow us uh to to really dive in and like organize our our groupings we could i think subscribers would be happier i i think i think uh you'd be able to go you know what i want to watch certain videos from this channel but it doesn't then hinder i mean well maybe it would hurt in the algorithm i don't know maybe it would hurt in the recommend yeah. recommended it might it might do something in the algorithm that hurts the spread of a video but i also don't think that's the case because the thing is is that the video would spread based upon search terms people are looking for and so if you're watching a video of star wars and it pops up in the recommended side or at the end screen, then you're still going to see those videos, but it's only if you subscribe to that channel. Yeah. Do you then get, I, you, you get to choose like itemization and organization. Um, and I think that, I think that'd be utterly fantastic. And, um, I should really recommend that I should, I should send off an email to yeah. my old contact and, and something, because I think that's, it's, it's useful. And I feel so much of what YouTube does these days is not useful. Yeah, it, it really, really isn't. It becomes this factor of, you know, like it just, I don't know, takes forever. It's, to get it's counterproductive to what you're trying to do half the time. You know, it's like it's like every time something new comes up, it, it, it seems like it's it's trying to make something harder to do or more difficult or less accessible or, you know, or whatever. And um, I mean, the only, the only thing that I can see, like, like with a channel like ours that like we cover a variety of things and I can understand that there's people like who aren't here for everything that, you know, that we're into. One of the cool things though, is because we've created a community here of people, it's really funny. Like say, for example, like when, uh, when we started watching the Orville, right. Uh, 
there was a lot of people who never watched the Orville, didn't know what the Orville was about, didn't know anything about the Orville, never was going to give it a chance. And uh, because they were here watching, you know, some other stuff with us, they, you know, some people came on, they said, yo, you know, you're, you're going to live stream again on Thursday. Okay. We're going to stop by and we're going to watch that. And, um, and they did, you know, or, or they came in not realizing that we were watching the Orville and they're like, what are we watching tonight? You know? And we're like, we're watching the Orville and they turn it on. And like, there was, there was ended up being like a whole group of people that ended up watching the Orville for the next two seasons with us because, you know, they found us, you know, that, that way, or, you know, they saw us or whatever. So, so I, I, I can see how it could possibly work against you on some things, but I definitely see how that could, that could work for you, you know, as to really promote your, your stuff in that particular community if if it really was going to promote it like say like you like you're saying like if if we're talking about dc stuff and and it's really going to take that and really put that out to people who dig dc content then that works in your favor you know yeah that's really what it boils down to is like we've got to uh you know we we've got to like really ask that that's the case like that they provide us with those tools to do that um, I think it would really, uh, you know, I, I think it's would be really interesting. What's this I'm hearing about Ray Park? Oh, yeah. I was going to mention that. Um, don't, be careful what you say about it on stream because you don't want yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, I he, know the he, general... post, he posted a video on Instagram of him getting in an act. And someone was saying was, his, his thing was his Instagram was hacked first. But according to Star Wars only, I don't know. I follow Star Wars only. He said it wasn't act. He's got some mental stuff going on. He posted it. Uh, and then Star Wars only was saying hash, he retweeted hashtag fire Ray Park. So I don't know. Uh, he also had a video in the past saying that they were working on a mall series with Kira and or Solo, or maybe that was related well, to there was that. yeah, there's an article yeah. today that popped up that like uh uh you know Darth Darth Mall rumored for multiple Disney plus shows. Yeah. So the timing is really weird. Uh, if he did, if he wasn't hacked, why would he do that now? If you're going to do that ever, like the worst time for you. Um, but really? I don't think, I don't think they'll go forward, especially a Disney series with that being out there. I mean, it, I'm sure someone's captured it now. It's going to be everywhere. Uh, once, once yeah, it's released. Let, me, let me, let me check a couple places. Uh, cause I'm kind of, now I'm kind of curious about this. Like, is it as bad as. I mean, well, uh, from what I, I mean, if it, is, if, it, if, is it graphic or what? I mean, I, I think it shows him getting it done. Um, okay. Yeah. I, I mean, guess, that's, that's I guess, it, that's I guess my question says. is, I guess my question is, does he finish? Oh God. Does that, is that important, Matt? Is that important? <laughs> no, it's not important. <laughs> no, it's not, it's, it's not it's important. Not, it's, not, it's not important, but quite frankly, I think everyone needs to finish. Uh, that uh, often, oh, so I mean, well, done. here's a question. I, I don't think it was his wife well, either. I, you know, that, well, that I saw matters, something like, but... like he had, like his wife had cheated on him or something like that. Hmm. Um, and, I mean, uh, that's what I, that was what my next question was like, why is it such a big deal? Cause you it's know? Instagram, you know, it's, in, it's, 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 it's like, you know, there's no, there's no, I, I mean, I, we're not, is Disney progressive enough that they're going to be hiring stars that kind of star in the future i don't think so not anytime soon i don't think they want that associated with the brand right now honestly yeah let me check i'm looking on 4chan right now let me tobacco see what, uh... no you're looking there oh matt be careful uh if you if you know what you're looking for you're fine on on this okay website. i've never been there <coughs> don't what, what's up don't. gaga don't 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 do it don't do okay. it it's not it's not worth it max okay. it's uh it will it will rot your brain Okay. Um, was that what happened to you? Uh, yeah, yeah, kinda. <laughs> it didn't help. I'll tell you that much. All right. Yeah, I'm just I'm seeing on here that that apparently there's like video of him having a, a an act performed, and uh, why, why? Why? If you were him, why would you do that now? Why would you put that? Why, yeah, I mean, he must be having severe mental problems. But he's saying that he did put it up. Well, there was. I don't know if this is true. This is according to I, I'm just going following Star Wars only's tweets because that's you know I see it trending and then he's also tweeting about it because he covers Star Wars. Mm -hmm. um, and he's saying apparent uh, someone was rumored saying that it he you know says of course there's a lot of hacks going on and someone released it when they hacked it and then like no that he actually released it on his own uh, volition himself, uh, which is crazy. Why would that's you do that? Yeah, especially on a site like that where you know it's going to get 
flagged and that doesn't none of that makes any sense yeah i mean that that doesn't that n- none of that story makes any sense why why would you release something like that to the public when you know it's going to get flagged and you're going to get dinged and people are going to find out and well, he's. Uh, I, I, I don't know that much about. Is he's he's married with children now, and he's gonna have it. Uh, this is bad, bad. It's not a good situation. Man, uh, I thought I read I, some, like I read something that said like his wife cheated on him, and this is like revenge or something. Oh, I mean, really? don't get me wrong. It, it's not like it's not appropriate to say the no. least. No, uh, you know, if you want to get back at your wife, there are better ways to do it. Yeah, uh, then just then destroying your career, but then at the same time he'd be going like if I have no money. Well, no alimony. In the grand <laughs> scheme, of, in the grand scheme of things, is he absolutely necessary for Darth Maul to, for the character to continue? I don't think so. Not compared to other characters in Star Wars, like uh, if they were going to replace Luke with Mark Mark Hamill's Luke with someone else, and he's Mark Hamill still alive and everything, people would riot. But if you're going to put someone in heavenly makeup, um. I think I think they could still proceed with their plans if they wanted to. Yeah, I think there's people, and especially if you're doing it on on Disney Plus, because technically you're bringing it to TV. Hmm. Uh, I think I think you could get away with it that way as well, because you could say, "Well, it's it's TV." Not it's that I thing. not that I wanted him replaced, but now you have to be yeah. realistic. Yeah, that's uh, hmm. man, that's a that's a really awkward, like weird story. I I had not I heard I'll- that. I was going to do a video because we were talking about my previous stream. Um, who's the guy that played Star Killer? Um, Sam Witwer. Sam Witwer. He does the voice of Maul on the series. Uh, he would be perfect, even for physically replace him, uh, I think. I mean, maybe he doesn't do as much stunts as Ray Park did. But who, who did you say? Sam Witwer. He does the voice oh, already. Sam. Yeah. Oh, you mean to do Maul? He's, yeah, he's loved by the community. Uh, I mean, I guess, and I mean, you're probably gonna have a stunt double anyway for the. Yeah. I mean, Bray Park was one that he got hired because of his stunt work, probably not his acting ability. Let's be honest. Yeah. Well, they dubbed um, his voice, anyways. Right. So why not just go the other route if you recast and who do someone that can actually do the voice in character with makeup on? That's true. And then worry about a stunt person. I mean, that's my point of view. Am I wrong? I don't know. What do you think, Matt and Enosh? I don't know. Whit- 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 Whitmer has a, like a certain uh, Whitmer has like a certain facial structure though to him. Mm. That's that is different than uh, you, I think. I think that if you do it, you got to find somebody who at least looks like Ray Park a little bit. You know what I mean? That like can can mimic that because otherwise, I think I th- I think that the only problem with that idea, I think that I mean, like obviously with the voice and everything, he would do fine. I mean, that would be that, and I, he's a, he's a good enough actor that I think he could do it. Uh, but I don't know how I'd have to see how he looks in like a, a, a testing, you know, like to see how, like how he looks in the makeup, how, how different his face looks because his face, he's got a unique face. Oh, so it, it looks like, uh, it looks like Ray Park's wife cheated on him with Daniel Logan. What? And Who's Daniel he, Logan? Uh, Daniel Logan. I think Boba that- Fett. He's young Boba Fett. So that's what? what someone on Twitter is saying. Oh, Star Wars drama. Wow. Uh, let's see here. That's, that's weird. weird. That's a weird triangle, man. You cheat on Darth Maul with young Boba Fett. The young guy. That would yeah, play yeah, the, kid. The, the kid. The kid from episode two. He's not a kid anymore, but yeah. No, I know. A, yeah, yeah. No, uh, not, uh, yeah. This is weird. It takes a weird turn here in the Well, I know what lives. kind of videos they're going to be seeing in the next few days. <laughs> Oh, oh, it's on, yeah. it's on, oh, it's on, uh, <laughs> it's on, <laughs> it's on, <laughs> it's on P hub. Okay. Uh, you know, oh, that's where they released it. <laughs> that's no, where, that's where it's where... at now. Oh, that's where it's at now. Uh, let me just hit P on my browser here. Oh, what do you know? Autofill. Uh, all right. <laughs> okay. Now we know what. <laughs> you know where my no, oh, you've, you've never is. you've never heard that joke before no oh, okay yeah it's it's like a a, a joke um, okay inaccurate so it's, it's yeah it's of course it's not accurate. <laughs> uh let's see here where you've been spending your nights jarbo uh no, 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 no i mean 
we don't need to know that. No. <laughs> I like you, Matt, but I really don't want to know everything about you. That's a uh, Batman honestly. line. That That's a Batman line from uh, 89 Batman. Yeah. Or you've been spending your nights. Uh, well, Phobic has a, is, is going conspiracy theory. He doesn't believe it's real. Well, I mean, like the, uh, it was on P hub. It is not on P hub, ah. but there's a lot of other star Wars stuff on P hub. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. Uh, okay. Okay. Matt's leaving the show. No, star Wars after for- dark all of a sudden. Yeah. Uh, no, it's not on, uh, I guess it's not on there any, uh, anymore. Uh, um, yeah. You sound disappointed. Uh, it's well, cause like, I'm not disappointed. It's I, I don't know what it is. That's the thing. I don't know. Trying to figure out what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Um, All for research. <laughs> obviously, obviously. Well, You're doing your due diligence as a, as a movie reporter, right? Yeah. yeah I'm, yes. I'm. Uh, yes. I'm doing. You I'm have doing, to report. I'm the doing news. the hard work. I mean, it sucks. Uh, but oh, somebody. Um, <laughs> I heard that's what happens. So uh, let's oh, see. Oh, God. Sorry, Enosh. This is bad. I know it's a PG. It's a PG. The the, PG the, the, the the whole the whole show has changed, anyways. From what from what it was. So I'm I'm we're 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 fine. Yeah. Well, I don't know where it's at, and it's not circulating around Twitter, which it usually would. Maybe be. they got it. They maybe they maybe figured Disney, it out. Maybe Disney's like, get this on lockdown now. Now, even, even if you have it, all, I mean, maybe if you, I don't Make think. It this, but it's got to exist somewhere. It's going to keep popping, popping up. That's. <laughs> Oh, okay. So I guess like this isn't the first time he's done this. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. So oh. like, I guess he posts like I guess his wife has cheated on him before. So I think this I think this video is of his wife doing it to somebody else. Oh, is what I is what I think. I don't think it's actually. I mean, it could be him. Yeah. And he's just getting he's just getting that revenge. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Uh, but that's I, not good for you. You can't post revenge stuff. I mean, no. sorry, yeah, no, sorry, I, I sorry. Agree. Things happened in your life and your wife, but. That's across the line. You yeah, no, no, I, I, I totally agree on that front. Yeah. It's, uh, um, it's, yeah, it's, it's fucking Jesus Christ. So, yeah, wow, that's, uh, man, that, that's a, that's a crazy. Uh, it's not worth it. You, what, what satisfaction did he get for getting revenge? Now his life's ruined. Maybe he was that down about it. I don't know. Well, yeah, we, I mean, again, we, we don't have all the facts yet. Everyone's, everyone's jumping to conclusions someone is saying that they dm'd his wife on instagram uh oh apparently this was actually talked about like eight hours ago okay mm-hmm. wow well gungaga has the scoop he's got the scoop right here uh what well, he says i heard that ray parker vid included <laughs> andy's ignore uh oh, no. where, where am i getting my info I you know, do, gungaga, not, do not research that video please gungaga it doesn't matter it doesn't oh, matter I, where, I, where where you get your, where your info from because you know we all know that if you report it, it's true, right, Max? Yeah. Well, uh, if if you want to hear the the uh, the end part of the stream last night where I was on Twitter, well, where, where Matt was mentioned, uh, and I don't, he yeah. has no problem with me re mentioning this. Maybe he doesn't like me calling his name, but he at the end, uh, he, if even if he wanted to try to find some common ground, which I don't believe, he just wanted me to stop talking about him. Yeah. Um, but he's like, but don't trust that Matt Jarbo. Don't trust that he always he always has this. Gotta make sure I'm I you, I have a yeah I have a way of like really antagonizing certain people. Um, he still I'll give you the cliff notes. He still says that you didn't talk to him privately first. He claims I, that's a lie. I I did. And uh, he said that I said, well, why did you go to people that were again like uh, that are actual possible ists and go to their stream and seek them out. And this is what he claims. He says, well, you're you're believing what Matt tells you if they are actually that. Uh, and then he said they reached out to him and he just went. He he that's what he says. So I could. Well, the thing <laughs> is, like, I, I you know, when when you are booted off of YouTube because you bring on Holocaust deniers. Oh, uh, I didn't know that. And that's why that particular program was booted off of YouTube. I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, Andy uh, doesn't like the truth. We, we know this. Uh, he likes to just make things up in his head and he likes to just, you know, he likes to just make things up. So, yeah, it's like uh, that's the whole the whole thing. Well, I'm giving you your fair shot because that's what was talked about the stream. You I have oh, okay. to be a members only to just sure, see it now sure. on so, Andy's thing. Or pop I, I, I don't care. Andy is is as much of a he's as much of a feckless coward as, as Jody. 
They don't, they won't like, that's the thing is, is that, okay. Like I will tell you guys, well, if I don't know when you're planning on going off, but it, like, I can tell you guys some stuff today that I can't, I don't want to talk about like publicly, but I can bring it up okay. privately All right. because it's like, it, we'll, it's, we'll go a few more minutes. And yeah. Then, it's then, some then crazy we'll stuff. Tonight. And it's like, the thing is, it's like, it's nothing that's bad. It's one of those things where it's like, I haven't fully like made my way through everything just yet. So I'm still figuring all that out. But, um, these are people you have to understand, like, like drunk three PO did a video apparently where he was like, he called me out in the video. Cause I, when I, cause of my video criticizing the fandom menace, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and he's like, I don't like this guy. I'm like, that's fine. I like three PO, but whatever. Uh, you know, and that's the thing is like, I don't really care at this point who I anger. I don't like, I'm at this weird, like place where I'm just tired of crap. I, I'm kind of there with you. I, I just don't care anymore. It's like, if you want to unsub unsub, like that's fine with me. I don't mind this stuff. It's like, I'm not going to sit here. Like, why should I have to capitulate myself to your nonsense because of reasons, you know, like you can say it, but I can't come on. Like you can criticize, but I can't come on. And that's the thing with people like Andy and people like geeks and gamers and the fandom menace as a whole is that it, it really is rules for the, and not from, you know, uh, not for me. Oh, well, it, well guys, we've, we've been put in our place. We've been put in our place. You know, why are all the white guys hating on Jody? I don't even, were we mentioned Jody? We were talking about Andy, right? I call, I called him a feckless coward. Well, uh, it, and he's a feckless coward. He's and, 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 well, well, you know what? Here, here's well, what? here's Jay Money. Here's Jay Money, and uh, I know Jay Money ain't just a white dude. So Jay Money says Jody is a liar and a hypocrite and a scam artist. So there yeah. you go. Well, ask Kosia if they were he, because he was one of the ones calling me a kitty Hosea? last night that I wouldn't oh, go yeah. on Andy. I did go on Andy. Uh, where's Jody talking to me? He's is he he's a coward. He won't talk to me because he knows I'm gonna I'm gonna give him the real criticism and ask him about his behavior, how uh, certain things he do does are homophobic. Yep. Uh, he does have racial comments. And... Booyah! <laughs> yeah. So, no, I mean, Hosea Hose is the one that comes on my channel comments all the time, too. Yeah, look, look, Hosea, you know what? The, the... Ask, ask him. I went on Andy because he, he's one of the ones that said last night, are you afraid of Andy? I'm not afraid of Andy. I'm not afraid of Jody. I'll talk to any one of them. Yeah, I, well, that that's the thing. Nobody is running from anybody. Like, look, when, when Andy showed up on, on your channel, you know. I was like, I said, I don't want to do this tonight, but I'm not, I didn't want people to say that. I'm like, oh. yeah. Because and, a, and a, certain, a certain nerd was in there, too, like coward. I'm like, oh, what are you talking about? You don't even talk to me anymore. You call me a coward. I will talk to you anytime. If he said, I want to talk to you on a stream, I would go to his stream. Yep. If uh, Darth Daddy says, I want to talk to you finally, I, I don't really want to. I, I'll be honest, but I will. Uh, if, you know, I'm not afraid to talk to these people. I have nothing to hide. Like, that's the... That's the, the that's the most revealing thing that that Andy keeps doing is like you have something to hide. He did that about Ray Fisher too. Even though uh, we're I, honestly, Matt, you may be a little bit skeptical too of the timing of Ray Fisher's comments and what's yeah. actually uh, that Joss did. But you're not going to mock him, be a potential victim. I don't believe. No, I I and, said I I had questioned. I'm like, did he just ruin his career? And I said that. Yeah. And I'm like, I do find, you know, like my knowledge, as I told Enosh last night, uh, privately, my information comes from a very, very reliable source. Um, if you know anything, I mean, wouldn't you agree on that one, Enosh? Oh yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. That, know. whoa, man. Whew. <laughs> yeah. It comes from, it, yeah, it comes I'm from. I'm still very, reeling from that. <laughs> yeah. Oh dude. I was too at the time. I was like, no. And he's like, you don't, you didn't hear that from me. And I'm like, all right. Oh boy. Yeah. And then at the same time, I didn't, I didn't, I, part of me didn't think it was true. Not that I, you know, I was like, this feels like so out of like left field. And then of course, uh, there was some corroboration from Joss's own wife on that issue. So it's like, you know, like, Ooh, drama, but yeah, these, you know, um, it's, I don't know. I totally lost my train of thought. I'm sorry. I'm kind of tired. <laughs> no, no, you were, you're, been a, yeah, you're, no, you're just talking about, you're talking about the, the information that you shared and, and just what were there, you know, how, how that, there's that information that came out and 
And we're, and we're just talking about right now, just about how, how they're, they're, they're they would love to, they love to call out everybody else. I, but, I uh, will talk to them almost anytime. I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say in, it, in almost any place. Like I, I would love to talk to them. I it didn't, do, didn't really do much good last night. It was like, I mean, it was okay conversation. It was kind of odd. Mm -hmm. uh, it was more one on one than we've ever talked before. Uh, even though there were, I didn't want like I tip I in, on purpose went in through the Zoom link, and I didn't even bother bringing up the Twitch to see the chat. I was like, I don't want to see what they're saying because I'm going into the lines. Then it's going to distract me from uh, my focus of what I want to say. So I I know certain individuals in the chat were saying shit. Um, well, the thing the thing with Andy is he's he's encapsulated himself around Jody's audience, and they. They don't ever actually listen to criticism. I mean, I've been, you know, like I've been called a racist multiple times for like criticizing Jody. Jody himself has called me a racist for criticizing him, uh, to which I give Andy credit for pushing back on that. So there is credit where credit is due. Yep. You know, and then uh, and then, you know, even Lewis had made a comment about, you know, about you guys criticizing Jody and being white guys. And I contacted Lewis and I talked to Lewis about that and he took it down and put it back up minus that statement because I'm like, dude. You know, you don't like being. Do yeah, I'm like, you don't like to be profiled. You've complained about that before, and he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we talked about it, and again, I don't think Lewis is a bad guy. I I speak very highly of him. Uh, I just wish he wouldn't have chose crappier people to be with, uh, to be friends with. You know, right? And, and every problem he has with me, he supports the other people doing worse, which uh, is honestly. so weird. Yeah, it's it is it's just it is what it is. Um, but the thing is, honestly, like again, in all all things considered, like I just feel like I'm better off as a whole. Um, I would much rather at this point, like talk to you guys about just like geeky stuff and have fun. Mm -hmm. That's more about where I'm at. Like comic con at home is happening. I haven't even really been paying that close attention to There's it. There's not really much uh, to talk well, about. Did really. you guys see the new mutants, the two minutes I, opening? No, I did not. But I, I heard oh, uh, so that good. they are actually, they're sticking to a firm August 28th, no matter what. Well, good. I will go pay money to go see it. Um, okay. did you see it, Enosh? I have not. I have not. And yet. I also it's, heard Tenet may get they're actually really considering yeah, they're uh, heavily out, considering yeah a release uh outside of u.s territories yeah and well, i said and now I said bill, and ted three, bill and ted three or what they're a lock for uh the first september of september yeah but they're doing they're doing limited theatrical and vod and i'm like if if there is a theater that's playing it near me i will go see it i will go support it because i still remember uh the first time i saw bill and ted in theaters yep was a double feature out the at the Mount Tabor Theater in Portland, Oregon. Nice. Uh, I was I don't know. I want to say I was like seven, maybe. This was I know when did when did Bill and Ted was that eighty nine? Uh, was that in that in that whole thing in eighty nine? It was like I forget which year. It definitely wasn't nineties. Um, uh, let me look but it up real quick. I, I saw Bill and Ted with Who Framed Roger Rabbit as a double feature with my cousins. Yeah, it was eighty nine. Yeah. Wow. And so I was like seven years old and we went to go see a double feature. And I still remember going to see that and like how, because both of those movies are freaking classics. Yeah. Oh, my, for sure. You know? And so it's like, so for me, I, I love Bill and Ted. I love Bill and Ted too. It's not as good, but it's still fun. And, and I really want to see what this one is. I haven't seen the new, huh, I haven't seen the new trailer though. The one that came out yesterday, they put out a new trailer. I haven't seen, I haven't it. seen the new trailer either. You guys, you guys want to watch it? Yeah, let's give it a watch. Let's give it a watch. And well, uh, well hey, Matt seems a little sleepy too, though. So we should, we, we, we got to talk well, about behind the scenes and then I got to get, yeah, well, myself. yeah, it's, I'm just, I'm just cracking open a, a LaCroix. Okay. Um, Ooh, no, it's, it's going to be four. It's going to be four for me soon. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. I got, LaCroix. Yeah. LaCroix with my nice unsweetened flavor water. Mm, we got to be right. ready for justice con info tomorrow, Enosh. Oh, I know. Well, you know, so tomorrow we are celebrating my my grandmother's birthday. She turns she oh, turns wow. seventy. She turns seventy nine this uh, this year. And, Is she for uh, the Snyder Cut? Absolutely. <laughs> my grandma, my grandma would support the Snyder Cut all day if he, long. I, I, if if you're willing to get her on the street or on a video, quick clips like I support the Snyder Cut. I would love that. So, <laughs> you... so oh, you know what? I will do it. 
I will do it. You, something you release the Snyder uh, cut. Go get grandma to say something, release the Snyder something cut. You guys, something you guys don't know about my grandma, right? So my grandmother, yeah. she she's uh she's been a pastor for years, but before she did that, we lived out in Vegas. My grandmother was an entertainer, she was a singer, she ran oh, around, wow. she ran around with all kinds of people in the in the 60s and 70s. I mean, she dated Engelbert Humperdinck, she was friends with Tom Jones, she was friends with like Sonny and Cher, and my mom's got all these pictures with the Jackson Five and the Osmonds and stuff because my grandma worked in entertainment and she also managed bands and groups and stuff out there uh during the time and so my grandmother my grandmother is like she's a very pretty lady and she was she uh what she did was was she she was getting out of singing and doing that whole thing and she was going to go into actually making movies and she signed a deal with mgm we still have the contracts uh she signed a deal with mgm she was going to make this film about marilyn monroe and she was playing Marilyn Monroe, if that tells you anything. She was a platinum blonde at the time. And we've got her whole um, portfolio of pictures mm. that was at her house. My grandmother my grandmother was, was was very well off. And she gave it all up, man, to help other people. And I, I commend her for that. I mean, she raised me and my two sisters uh, because my mom had problems with drugs and alcohol. And my grandma gave all that up, man. To, to follow God and, and to, to raise us and provide a home for us. But I mean, she, she had, she had this beautiful home in Vegas with like marble floors and stuff. She had a, she had a limousine that uh, uh, she had a chauffeur and all this stuff. And she changed all that. But the funny thing is, is that she, we have all these pictures of her in like, you know, bathing suits and stuff. And, you know, the kind of that classic look with parasols and stuff. Cause she was going out for this movie. And so we have this, we have a few pictures of her, Black and whites and colors with her. All she's wearing is a monk is a is a white mink coat. And I'll never forget it because when I was like 14 years old, we're going through like family pictures and stuff. I was like cleaning out my room and stuff. And my friend Mark was over and it's like two or three in the morning and we're looking up stuff. And he's like, looking through my family photos. And all of a sudden he comes across this picture of my grandmother, like <laughs> looking seductively at the camera in this white. That's mink uncomfortable. Coat. And like, and like, <laughs> well, like, yeah, but like b barely covered, you know what I mean? Like you, she was covered, but like, you know, you could tell that that's all she was wearing. <laughs> and he looks at me and he goes, Enosh, does your, does your grandma know that you have these kind of uh, <laughs> pictures in your room here? And I said, dude, that is my grandma. And he goes, <laughs> what? That's Pastor Betty? Oh, my God. Pastor so, Betty? Yeah, so, he, so he Pastor never Betty's pictures. <laughs> yeah, he never looked at my grandma the same way again. So so my grandma's hilarious, man. So I will definitely, I'm going to give oh, her on yeah. camera tomorrow. Say, 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 give, her, give her a message to Zach. Zach, congratulations. Release the style. Yes, yes, it's, uh, it's not going to mean anything to anybody else, but it's going to be something we'll play here over and over. Thank you for the idea, Max. Thank yeah, you for the I would idea. Love that. Okay, so so this is this is Bill and Ted, and uh, this is for um, uh, Thumbaco, because uh, or tobacco because now they, uh, they they give me a copyright just so you know on my trailer did actually. they really yeah mm. oh, i'm just well. preparing you all right well we'll fight it we'll fight it as long as they okay. don't take down the channel you know no we're... it's just you'll get a content id claim as you yeah can we'll, we'll, yeah it. we'll get a content id claim and then we'll fight it and then we'll win half the time but you know it's just the pain in the butt of having to do it all right so yeah. here we go uh, let's make sure that everybody can see it there it looks good okay and wow that is like really pixelated for me yeah. Is it? Yeah. Is that really bad? Oh yeah. Okay. Wow. Well, I, can, I can find another one. I can find another. No, one. no. It's 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 the the text on the screen. Oh, it's, it's fixed, fixed now. It's fixed now. Uh, it was kind of half fixed for a second, and then it went back to being weird. Okay. I, you it, know, if if you play it, looked, it, it, it looks it, it looks good to me. Well, it's like remember when you and I were talking last night, and like your camera looked like you were coming at me through a potato. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like I've noticed Streamyard has had a lot of glitches this week with that. Hmm. So, uh, let's see. I've also noticed that if you're going mobile, the more people that are there, the more data it sucks up and it will bottleneck your phone. Uh, I have to be honest. I'm curious about Pastor Betty now. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. There, there we go. Now it's, it's better for me now. Okay. okay it's better. Okay. So, yeah. just, so here we go. We're going to go ahead and watch this trailer together. Here we go. Pretty good. Uh, that, that was I kinda, funny. I, I want to see it now. I didn't before. I well, I was going to see it anyway, but oh, uh, yeah. that actually made me laugh. And there's a lot of great callbacks. Yeah. Uh, no Rufus, which is which is yeah. super unfortunate. Yeah. But uh, you know, I think it's William Sadler's going to have a much larger role, and I loved him as death. And the dad is coming back. I wonder if I wonder if the mom's going to be there. What's her name? Missy. Oh yeah, Missy. You gotta have Missy. Dude. Yeah, I wonder if Missy is gonna be around. Yeah, but the thing that has got me on that one, uh, that's got me kind of excited, and this is a weird thing, is who the director is. 
Uh, the director is Dean Parasot, who hasn't done much, but he's done one major film that uh, it, it defined a lot of geekdom, and that would be uh, Galaxy Quest. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love Galaxy so, Quest. So, like, you know what? I, like, I didn't know who you were talking about until you said Galaxy Well, Quest that's why I like Galaxy to build up to that one. I like to, yeah. I like to kind of pump you know pimp it up a little bit and go like let me drop it up a little bit yeah drop the galaxy quest stuff Hmm. uh because galaxy quest is one of the funniest movies i've ever seen i just uh, it's such a good spoof and it's a good parody because it's like it treats the the source material with a lot of love Mm -hmm. and sigourney uh, weaver now too oh yeah yeah Yeah. i'm serious sigourney (laughs) weaver looks really really good in that movie yeah she's very i mean she looks good like yeah even now, like even in like Defender, she looked good, and she's like up there. Like I don't care. I've always thought Sigourney Weaver was hot. So yeah, uh, you know, and uh, like being older, like the same age she was roughly when they were doing the first Ghostbusters, it's yeah. like, man, I, my appreciation of Sigourney Weaver just. Gonna... <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's kind of like it's kind of like looking at uh, like Sean Young from like Blade Runner, and mm-hmm. then like Sean Young n- like now. And you're like, mm-hmm. you know, because even like up into Ace Ventura Pet Detective, she still had it going on, I think. And then, uh, but it was more of like that librarian stick in the mud hotness. Yeah. Which is, can work. It can work. I mean, look at like Katie Seagal, you know, as Peggy Bundy. Oh, yeah. She's attractive. Yeah. She's attractive uh, uh, back then. And, you know, like, and then I thought she was more attractive outside of the, um, outside of the wig and the pumps yeah. on the show. So, yeah. you know, I mean, it's just, uh. Uh, I don't know. I kind of feel weird, like going, like going, like yeah, these chicks are hot, because <laughs> it just seems kind of weird. That's a, that's all right. Me, me and uh, me and Zimbaco, uh, we had a talk the other night about Aaron Gray. Oh man, sounds familiar. Who is that? Aaron. Aaron Gray, Gray Buck Rogers, man. Oh, that's yeah. Well, that's that's in that's I, I beyond, that's that, before yeah. my my time period. Yeah, I touched that lady's hand, man. I my my good friend Mike that I used to do a radio show with. He uh, him and I, he was like. Um, uh he he had an infatuation with Aaron Gray and the first comic con that I ever went to the first motor city comic con I ever went to she was there and I just I walked up to her and I said I said excuse me I said I just have to come say hi to you and I said and shake your hand because my friend Mike will never forgive me for the fact that I actually touched your hand and she just she looked at me Did with she this big, you <laughs> no 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 because she got it that it was a joke and, and yeah. so she like looked at me she grabbed my hand and she shook my hand and then i was telling him that i was telling tony that like she rubbed the top of my hand like this and i was like yeah i kind of understand why you like aaron gray now like, <laughs> kind of get it well like you know who i uh in logan's run uh jenny a uh, uh, gutter the, the the girl from logan's run like mm. she was always like really hot <laughs> uh, someone asked someone asked me the other day they're just like they're just like you know which old like actress would you still like to get with and i'm all like helen mirren just saying helen mirren is Not her, yeah. still sorry. attractive sorry i mean i respect her but I'm, I'm max is all like if they're over the age of 40 i don't want nothing to do with them yeah nah, nah, nah. <laughs> I've, got, I've got age restrictions nah like you're telling you're telling me that well, how I, old is helen mirren like 75 dude. yeah that's not Whatever, man. The older the berry, the, oh, the older that's the a... berry, the sweeter the juice. All right, that's you know. Look, look uh, Aaron, Aaron Gray, man. Yeah. Look, look at her. All right, just, yeah. just, yeah. She was. Uh, I think what she was something else, man. She was something else back in the day. I well, when I when you go to Comic Con, you meet a lot of these. Oh, um, okay. You meet a lot of the other actresses, right? From like uh, older, like older sci fi shows or older, older things that you might have had a crush on when you were a kid. Yes. So it's like. I've uh, uh, like I met Julie Strain at Comic Con a long time ago. Um, that was uh, she she was a she was a porn actress. I didn't have a like, but like I I would you know it's like one of those things where it's like you you see her performing, you know, and then you meet her in person and you're like, this is weird, <laughs> you know. I was yeah. like nineteen. I was like nineteen at the time um and linda you know, carter's and linda not not about that but somebody else mentioned it <laughs> let's, 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 a, let's preface on, what i just said if there's a linda carter tape that i don't know about here sir uh you must excuse me while i go find it no no uh linda carter is another one who's just a classic beauty she just you know the, the more she ages even she still looks just fabulous oh yeah i mean like the thing is you know like i think the older i get the more i start to like there was a time when i hit about 30 that all of a sudden, like 
moms just got a lot more hotter to me. You know? <laughs> yeah, that that one, yeah. Like I was in I was at Walmart and like you just see like the mom, she's got like two kids and like the you know, like the leggings on and they like look, you know what the like, hell? Look good. <laughs> Walmart leggings. And then it's just I'm like in, it's just I'm like, in sleepy I'm just, like, I'm just saying I'm not saying like I'm just saying it's like you get to a point Walmart and leggings well, Matt, there's how, all well, how I old get, are you? Like, how old are you? Matt's over here digging this I'm, I'm like, similar, I'm, like I'm, no, I'm, just saying, I'm just saying I'm pretty man, close to your age pretty close all right man but i'm mean, like you get to a point where it's kind of like you know what i mean yeah, by that well, essentially, like leggings, i don't think a hot how, leggings. okay I see, well I think let me just what i see there late at night walmart, yeah but like, like well i'm not talking late at night like, walmart i'm talking like san diego southern california walmart it's okay, a different I don't thing know that walmart. it's a different yeah it's a it's a better i don't know that walmart <laughs> it's not it's not like it's not like <laughs> i want to make a t-shirt i yeah, don't know that walmart it's not my walmart yeah, it's it's Walmart. not like 2 a.m. Pensacola, Florida Walmart, okay? Where they're oh, going to be walking with a gator on a leash. Most Walmarts. <laughs> so, I mean. <laughs> Mom with wow. leggings. Wow. I love, I love Max. It's pretty funny. Uh, you know, oh, I'm getting sleepy, so. I don't you know, know what? I always had. I So so I always had a thing for, for older women. Like, I, when I was like when I was oh a teenager, even, yeah. I, I liked older women, man. Like, what can I say? I don't know. Like, all my girlfriends were like two or three years older than me, so. I mean, I'm okay with the. I don't, what are we doing here? I'm, I'm getting sleepy. All right, all right, all right. We're, we're no, clearly, I, I, we're clearly I, I, I making mean, Max uncomfortable. No, no, no. no. I'm fine talking. We get, about, we get it. You don't like the older ones. You no, like the I, younger I don't ones. like. Some of the, I, I mean, <laughs> I'm not going on and on about it. Whoa, this is like this is a rabbit hole. I don't want to go down. I, this uh, is for, all we're talking about is like is. I is, said Sigourney Weaver in Galaxy Quest. Yes. <laughs> and then you went Ellie, to a, you went to a whole nother level. Talk now, now see see geeks has, got, white. geeks has got my back betty white man all right betty white yeah betty white golden girls is kelly like preston uh yes. rest in peace i'm sorry to, yeah she recently passed yeah uh, kelly preston yeah. was great and her i mean I, you know she's very pretty in her prime yeah she was very pretty at the age of 57 yeah right? uh mm-hmm. you know photos of her from from recent you know, I mean, like, uh, like for me, when I was a teenager, man, uh, Alicia Silverstone was my that was my main one. I went through it. I went. Okay, see, you you deserve this comment, Matt and Enosh, uh, Sphinx Milf, Productions. That's Milf what that's what, that's what you got for going down. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, I just want to like. There's a there's a line there that just popped into my head. There's a great line that kind of summarizes that. I think to an extent. And it's not like it's a weird, maybe more of a biological thing, but I kind of want to go back to Dogma 1999. Where um, Jay and Silent Bob meet up with uh, with Linda Fiorentino's character outside of an abortion clinic, and she's like, "What are you guys doing outside of an abortion clinic?" And he's like, "Picking up chicks." Oh my god! I'm like, why? Because <laughs> I mean, they're clearly here. They like to fuck. Oh. So you know, sorry, and it's, I'm paraphrasing, but it's kind of like it's kind of. Oh. Like, but what I mean, by, it's kind of like the whole notion of like when you see a woman with kids, it's like by. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, <laughs> biologically, uh, what are our key functions as, as a species, right? To eat, to sleep, to reproduce. Those are our biological functions. And so when you see, when, you, when you're kind of at There's the There's one age, of those I don't do, so. Sleep, apparently, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go sleep on stream. I give you the I'm, warning. I'm trying, to ma- I'm trying to make you laugh, Look Matt, at my so eyes. <laughs> yeah, they look pretty blazed. Matt, Matt see, when, when I get tired, I get punchy and, and funny. When, when Max gets tired, he's just like. He's like, I, I mean, I like the, I like the, I'm, I, I can appreciate some older ladies. I'm not, I don't like, I don't go all gung ho like you guys are going. And, <laughs> and, I, and I am tired and I want to get, I want to hear, I wanted to talk to Matt a little bit off the stream. Matt trolling Walmart is something I can see. <laughs> Matt's opening line to the moms in Walmart. Hi everybody, I'm Matt. The spandex. <laughs> I'm Matt Jarbo. Yeah, roll, You're a roll. mom with spandex at Walmart. I'm like, like this, no, this I like just, slide into the to the I cold disagree. food aisle. I disagree. The ones that <laughs> that exact scenario that I've seen in Walmart is not in my is uh, not uh, something. No geeks, geeks and comics, cosmic entertainment here. You're t- you're thinking of a uh, 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 Illa Fisher. Oh, that's, Illa. That's the, oh, yeah. You know, she's she's married to Sasha Perrin Cohen. I know. You know, and I'm like, you, you lucky son of a bitch. Because when she played Mary Jane in uh, Scooby Doo, I was like head over heels, man. You know, and then and then she popped up a couple years later in Wedding Crashers with with her natural hair color, which is red, and that's like my kryptonite. So I was like, oh, you know, and then it's like she married Borat. What? Yeah. You know, um, I mean, that's the thing. Like when I first moved to L.A., you know, and I was I was kind of like doing the uh, short film stuff. I met a lot of actresses, and like when you are 
not used to talking to that many beautiful women. Yeah. Like it's crazy. Uh, are you guys familiar with uh, Chloe Dykstra? Yeah. Who is that? She's a cosplayer. Yeah. 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 So I know she's that. very attractive. Right. So, so I was actually at a party for E3, uh, 2011 and I was at it's the website destructoid had a party and my friend and I went and it was basically just like nerdy guys that were all there, you know, like, Oh, I can't wait to see what they're going to be showing off tomorrow. at E three. <laughs> okay. And so in walks, Oh, Kobe. that's, that's where I reckon that's the, she, the me too. And yeah, she, she, yeah, I was wondering. Herself, if... Yeah. 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 So, so, uh, anyway, so she, Chloe, I, and I didn't know this at the time, but this girl walks in and like, she was dressed. It was like, we're talking 10 out of 10 Hollywood, 10 out of 10. Right. Everyone, like, imagine that scene from uh, Not Another Teen Movie when the Jennifer Love Hewitt scene happens and she walks in and, like, everyone just stops and, like, then, you know, she comes to slow mo. It was a lot like that. And so, I, my friend I was with was like just gaga over her, like, I mean, just eyes bugging out of his head, tongue on the ground. And he's like, oh my God, who is that? I'm like, I don't know, man. Like, but she's like, she's so hot. I'm like, she is, yes. You know, and the thing is, living in LA, you see this kind of thing, but it was, it was still enough to get everyone's attention. Was anyway. she the first Amber Heard? I don't know. I don't remember. No, no, no. Uh, Not so, that bad. Not that bad. Yeah. So anyway, like about 20, 30 minutes passed and I was ended up talking to this one guy and she came over and started talking to us. And, uh, you know, and that was kind of like a, a little intimidating because, you know, usually <laughs> it's like, I mean, it's like, oh my God, like you're, how do I talk to someone that's as beautiful as you sort of thing? Your brain gets a little scrambled. And then it dawned on me. And that's oh, how I feel every day when I speak to my own wife. That's, that's very good. That's very good. That would get your points. Um, she's but, not listening, you know, not listening. but in, but in, but in this case, I just dawned on me, I'm like, Oh wait, I'm not going to sleep with you. So we're good. Uh, let me just, I get that thought out of my brain. I'm good. And so I'm talking to her and she just kind of randomly goes, have you guys seen the new X-Men movie? And this is when first class came out and I'm all like, yeah, I saw it. And she's like, here's an odd question for you. What did you think of the special effects? Right. And I just go. Uh, they were pretty good considering the rush production of the film. I mean, they only had like nine months to shoot it and get it out there. And, and then she goes like, she's like, Oh well, my, she's like, yeah, that's right. She's like, my dad worked on that. And and I didn't know this for many years. Cause I mentioned it in a story once on a video and someone's like, that was Chloe Dykstra. Cause her dad did special effects at Fox and worked on X-Men did a bunch of that stuff. That's how I now know that it was her, which is pretty funny. But like, you know, you meet women like this all the time when you live in LA. And so yeah. after a while, the rubbernecking, it just goes away. It just becomes the norm. So sure. then in my opinion, like this is where I had that, that weird kind of dichotomy was uh, when I left Los Angeles and I went back to quote unquote normie America, women who were like not over the top attractive, but just traditionally attractive were now in this weird different league of just like that is more preferable. Right. And I and I can't quite figure out why that was the case. But that just became the case, as as weird as that is. I don't know. Maybe I'm just broken. Who's that? Well, that that's my Harley right there. Oh, nice. That that's my Harley Quinn right there. She she loves dressing up as Harley Quinn, and I encourage that fully. Uh. <laughs> so there you well, go. considering that her shirt just says "mate," I'm pretty sure you do. <laughs> yes. yes. So you know, yeah. we get it. We get it. I, as I said before, I amended my previous opinion. Yes. <laughs> yes. Well, people have been asking me like, why haven't you been online a lot this week, Enosh? Like, why, why, you know, where have you been and stuff? And I'm like, um, well, I've been um spending some time with my wife because the boys are gone. Yeah. So take that for what you will, and that's gonna be our final thought of the night. Absolutely. Well, hey guys, this was fun. This was a lot of fun. Uh uh we're going to, we're going to talk about some stuff here offline, but, uh, I know, I know it was supposed to be a call in show, but you know what? It, it's turned into an interesting, uh, discussion. And so I always like that. And Max there, go to sleep, go to sleep. I, I feel like I'm singing to Dr. Doom, which go is kind of funny. Sleep. Go to sleep. <laughs> All right, guys. Hey, thanks for joining us tonight. We appreciate you guys so much. And, uh, we will see you next time with another call in show or another fun show. And uh, that's pretty much it. Stay, stay nerdy. Stay nerdy. Stay angry, my friends. Until next time. Bye-bye.